Oh, yeah. You know what time it is. That's right. It's time for the Eddie and Webby Podcast. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to bust out some theme song action for you. Check it out. The Eddie and Webby Show is the place to be. They're talking about beer and pickleball and technology. So if you didn't know, now you know. Because it's time for the Eddie and Webby Show. On today's episode, Eddie and Webby take the show on the road. This is the Eddie and Webby Podcast. Hey, how's it going? This is Webby, not Eddie. And I'm Eddie, and this is our 44th podcast. Oh, yeah. Episode number 44. Yes. And for those of you guys who were lucky enough to join us at the 2019 Beer City Open pre-party at Perrin, you will uh, you will know that we did a live stream from there. And this live stream had over three and a half hours of amazing content with a ton of pros and so we decided to split it into a three-part series. Whoa, three parts? That's a, that's a lot of parts there. That's right, three parts. Part one was episode 43, so if you haven't listened to or watched Podcast 43, go back and watch that one first, and then come back to 44, because this is part two of three. Oh yeah, the sequel. But uh, man, part one was great. Part two... On the other hand, it's also great, but man, there was a little bit of controversy. So if you like controversy, this is the episode for you right here. Yeah, a little more drama in this one than we're used to in the uh, Eddie and Webby show. But uh, we kind of just had a bunch of pros coming on and decided to see what happened. And well, <laughs> this is what happened. So, uh, hello, check one, two. Check, there you go. Oh, you yeah. are coming <laughs> loud and clear. Um, as you guys know, because we've had her on the podcast before, we have a friend, Michelle Esquivel, here. Yay! Yeah. And then somebody that I got a chance to meet briefly at the U.S. Open. We got to do a little bit of fake commentary in the Margaritaville Lounge. Rob Cassidy. Good times. Good what's, times. What's going on, man? Was that us when uh, when Kyle Yates textbookedly lobbed Dave Weinbach in the final? Was that yeah. us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that oh, was yeah. us. That was yeah. us. Yeah, Michelle was there with us, too. We called that lob. That was great. Right there. Yep. Oh, nice. my God. That was yeah. the epic lob of the year. Yes, it was. Yeah. <sighs> It was solid. It took place in April, so there's still time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Plenty of time. What's going on? You guys have oh, fun? Oh, yeah. What's up? Yeah? I, I'm having fun. I'm having a great time. Are you? This is this is great. When you get all the pros together, you get not only the pros, but everyone involved in the community. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, oh, yeah. Everyone's yep. here. Everyone's having a great time. Um, it's great to see everyone off the court. Mm. It's, a, it's a different thing. It's a different yeah. thing, and it's great, and it's we're having a great time. Yeah, <laughs> this is so cool because I always see like Scott Golden and other people posting the, mm -hmm. uh, the stuff that goes on after the matches and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So like we're finally getting to experience that with all the pros. This is this is incredible. I love it. Yeah, I, I heard um, Kyle Yates did a charity event earlier. He uh, like swept the floor with two two O's earlier <laughs> or something. I, that is I just heard. I just that heard. I didn't get a chance to see it. It happened is, so fast. Is, I didn't get a chance to see it. Yeah, that, that is very accurate. That yes. did happen. <laughs> Two poor souls got hey. destroyed on the court. Yeah, but it was for their better. Now they know what they have to work on. That's right. That uh, is right. Yeah, whenever you play up against somebody like Kyle, you're, uh, I don't want to call them weaknesses. I call them areas of opportunity because I'm a positive guy. Come right to the surface, man. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we, we have some things to work on. Although I, did, I do have to say, there were some awesome battles that we got into with him where, where we had some fast hands, and I was like, I watched the video back, and I'm like, yes, we got like two or three yeah. returns, and then he just placed it, and we popped it out. But right. but to even go two or three a couple times, that was pretty cool. There was some great return of serves yeah. I saw because I, I was doing some commentary on that, and wow, I was impressed. I just I just felt like you guys were totally in it. There was just some times where the execution yep. wasn't fully there. Yeah, yeah. But again, I was like, I was t telling Webby earlier or maybe Eddie. <laughs> yeah, I was Eddie. Okay. So 
you're not used to playing in front of that many freaking yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. You're just not used to it. So maybe you're, you yeah, felt that's what maybe it was. a little tighter. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Was it that? Yeah, if there, if there was nobody watching us, man, yeah. we would have swept the floor with yeah. him. <laughs> it it would have been a totally different story. Oh, yeah. that happened. Michelle, I can't believe you almost got them mixed up. I know. <laughs> Yeah, one well, thing, Eddie and Webby, you know, yeah. that's pretty close. That's pretty. I know we had to have names that were so <laughs> closely to each other, right? That's right. Can what? I tell you guys something really quick, yeah, though? Yeah. Um, the video that you guys just made <laughs> was legit. Wait, which was the that? music video? Oh. <laughs> that was so good. Was that but, all Webby? That, it's all Webby, man. Right? Talking about the, uh, the the parody song. You know it. <laughs> that is so good. If you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you do. <laughs> So funny. Wait, do you guys remember the words? Oh, yeah. The banger's gonna bang, 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 bang. bang, bang. <laughs> the dinker's gonna dink, 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 dink. But I just wanna play, 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 play. Pickleball, pickleball, pickleball. Nice, yes. nice. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, 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 so I will good. tell you, if you guys ever see anything very creative, like super creative come out of our channel. <laughs> it's all Webby. It's all him. Usually, uh, it, it's not me. Here. It, it, I, <laughs> nice. I got no problem saying it. He's awesome at that, man. Nice. Yeah. That's why I wanted to start a channel with him so I could like, like do this much work and he could do all of it and it's going to be awesome. And, yeah. Right. Yeah, Thank that's you. good I appreciate strategy. That. Yeah. yeah. Credit where credit's due. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Nice. So nice. what's going on with you guys? So you guys are both have some pretty exciting matches this weekend. Yeah. Michelle, yeah. you want to talk first, Michelle, about... Yeah, sure. I'm playing with Catherine Pronto, who is actually one of my idols. Yeah. And so I'm just really excited to play with her in women's doubles. Um, I'm really excited to play some singles, and I'm also playing some mixed with Fat, Frank Anthony David. Okay. So um, I'm nice. really excited for that. How about you, Rob? Sorry, what? Who are you yeah. playing with? Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> my partners are Jose Derisi. He is originally from Argentina. He learned pickleball in Rochester, New York, which is a nice place to learn pickleball. And then I'm playing with um, <clears throat> uh, Katie Dyer. Nice. Nick, she's a very good player, very mentally strong, and uh, she's got a great game. Yeah, it'll be our first time playing together. Uh, actually, the rec games today were our first time on the same side of the net, and it felt really good. Yeah. Wow. That's really great. Good. Nice. So you yeah. mentioned Catherine Peranto. Is that Steve Peranto's daughter by any chance? Uh -huh. <laughs> that question gets asked a lot, but no, no relation. There's no relation there. Okay. Um, but yeah, she's great. She uh, there might be a relation. Yeah, so you kind of jumped the gun there, Steve Michelle. Talked about it. He said and that no, he thought they there? were distant cousins. Or no, they, yeah, it's I not swear. his daughter, but no, no. that's what it was. Yeah, it, it was. It, it, was this on one of your shows? Yeah, just yeah. recently. And he yep. said they, she spells it the the original way. Yeah, he changed the spelling of the name, so they, their spelling is different, but they are related, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, like like distant, not anything super close. I've been telling Michelle yeah. that she needs to brush up on her uh, pickleball history, but you know, <laughs> she's apparently too busy being yeah. a, a pro. Yeah. Oh, too I'm Too busy sorry. crushing it out too there. Too busy crushing it, that's yeah. right. I actually just watched her today play a, um, <clears throat> a uh, recreational singles match against Zane. What's Zane's last name? Navitrol. Zane Navitrol. And it was just a fantastic match to watch. I mean, Battle of the Sexes 2020 coming your way. That was a sweet <laughs> match. Yeah. That was a sweet match, yeah, for sure. Yeah, every time... Uh, I get an opportunity to play or practice singles. It's a it's a big opportunity for me, and especially get Zane. He is an up and coming player, so I asked him to play some rec singles, and he was all for it. Okay. And um, yeah, we we did have really good points. Yeah, and it was great, and it was fun, and um, I'm really trying to expand my singles game. I never practice it, but what I do, it's epic. <laughs> well, so I was going to ask you that, right? Because when you're at a pro level, obviously, being able to find other people to play and practice with gets tougher, right? The, the better you get, it's probably a little bit more challenging. Is that a fair statement? Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I came today to play some rec games, and then all of a sudden I see Anna Lee and Lee Waters playing against some Moni and Irina in a practice game, and it's like... Yeah. How do I get in on that? Yeah, so. like I want to go play. Looks like looks like they're having so much fun in the pool, and I'm sitting over here in my backyard without a pool. Like I want to go play in the pool, right? Is that was that was when you were like a kid? And, like Something your neighbors like had the pool. And you gotta learn to swim before you can play in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's definitely something like that where, yeah. you know, you just want to get in on those rec games. But uh, but I had the opportunity to play against Rob and Jose, and with Zing. Yeah. So that was a great rec game for me, you know? So every time you come early to these tournaments and you get those rec games, it really does mean a lot. It okay. really does. Because if you're in your hometown, you don't have, like, all these 5-0, 5-5, 6-0 players. 
So it was just it today was just a fun time playing some right games. Absolutely. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Rob, I saw you were doing a clinic earlier today. How did that go? Oh, it actually went it went really well. Yeah. Uh, it was for the uh, committee members, kind of to give back to them because obviously they're working hard behind the scenes. Uh, Andrea Andrea Coop lined it up, and I had the. Uh, honor of just kind of leading it and giving them, giving back to them. So um, it, w- it went really well. Taught them a couple things and then went right into play because we only had about just about two hours with them. So, you know, that's just that time goes like that. So, you know, just threw as much knowledge at as, as we could and had as much fun as we could. And it was really well received. Okay. Yeah, I I, 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 I kind of saw you out there, and, and I, I liked your. I saw you too. You were writing things down. I like was. You, I was were, you had like the microphone up, and like yeah, yeah. I was over there taking. <laughs> uh, you seem to have a really, uh, like like a very high energy way of of coaching and doing clinics and stuff like that, and it was Who, it was really Rob? cool to see. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know that guy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. but seriously, I thought that was I thought it was really impressive, man. It seemed very natural for you out there. And nice. You, you've been doing some of the level up, is that right? That's right. Okay. Yeah. How's that been going, man? Oh, it's been fantastic. Yeah. Really. I mean, like, just getting put in a situation where I'm able to give back and just, you know, spread pickleball amongst communities and excel people's games around the country. Yeah. It has been a true true gift true gift to me. Um, I definitely don't take it for granted, and it's been really great so far. The, the level up camps. They are going very well. Okay. Very well. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then, so uh, got one coming up in Rochester. Yeah. Sold out. Sorry about that. Maybe okay. you can sign up for the Ohio one. Columbus, Ohio is coming up next month. You got anything in the South Florida area? Uh, we had one in Orlando earlier. Me, both me and Tyson McGuffin uh, did that one together. So okay. we had two head clinicians doing that one at the same time. That was fantastic. We're coming back. We're running it back next year again. So look for the uh, look for the openings next year because they're going to be every month next year too. Uh, it's been a good run. It's been a good run so okay. far. We're going to keep it going. Are you, are you doing any with DJ Howard? Because Webby's been working with DJ a couple times here. Nice. And, yeah. I have one with DJ in Texas. Oh, wow. Coming up uh, right around the Texas Open. So um, go ahead and sign up for that one before you can't. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one, yeah. They probably fill up pretty quick, don't they? Sometimes mm-hmm. they do. Sometimes yeah. they do. Um, okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm lucky. I'm teaching with Ben. Yeah. Or, or, and teaching in Ben with Tyson McGuffin. Nice. In what? August, beginning of August. And I'm also teaching with DJ in uh, St. Louis. So I'm very lucky to yeah. be yeah. in very nice. that uh, level up camp with them. Like, it's just such a great opportunity. Uh, you know, I also teach in Gage Pickleball camps. Right. And so I, I just, I'm very lucky to be a part of both and uh, just really get into <laughs> really get into the camp so yeah what so what what is your what's your teaching style because i know you have a background in it and I, when we had you on the podcast you talked a lot about how it's something that you're into it's natural for you you feel very comfortable like what's your style what, what, what's your approach i just i relate yeah i relate yeah. to the student I remember dinking at the very first time and going, what the heck is this? And um, coming from a tennis background, a lot of tennis players are transitioning into pickleball. So what they want to do is hit very hard and try to take these big swings. And when you're at the kitchen line, you want to minimize your swing and you want to be soft and you want to have a loose grip when you're dinking. So um, I just, I kind of relate more to the student and I try to, you know, tell them look this is what you need Mm -hmm. to do because I've been there with you Mm -hmm. you know but this is this is what we need to change or these are the kind of things that we need to look at when we're going into dinking maybe even third shot drops um, whatever it may be I just really try to relate to that person and uh, make it as relatable as possible (laughs) you know um, this is what you need to do you need to be softer or this is what you need to do you need to move your feet or whatever whatever it may be Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that's what it is for me. And the energy for me is very high all the time. So that keeps them motivated. That's my teaching style. How about you, Rob? Oh, yeah, that's great. That's great. <laughs> what do yeah, I yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, you know, like fun leads to retention. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when you're having fun, you're going to remember it better. You know, so that's just a good learning tool in itself, having fun. Um, people have different learning styles. People learn things different ways. So um, identifying those for different people goes a long way. 
Um, you know, sometimes it's not a physicality. You know, a lot of the time it's just a mental thing. So mm-hmm. if you're able to identify it and then just approach it, um, and then even before they, uh, you know, they start doing it, they're still doing it wrong. But instead of me having to tell them, they're like, oh, I should have done this. Yeah. And then they're like, that's exactly right. Now, you know, you know, keep going, you know, so um, it's fun. It's fun, uh, you know, figuring out what works for each person and leaving nobody behind and having a good time along the way and, and leaving with with some some more tools in your in your tool case, you know. OK, yeah, for sure. Yeah. What about you guys? Uh, you, either you guys left-handed or what? What are we talking here? <laughs> no. You guys both. know how to stack? So but, I, yeah. How long have <laughs> you guys been playing this game? You want to uh, actually, it? playing tournaments a year. Like the Beer City Open last year yeah, was last our year. first time ever doing a tournament, tournament together. Year. Yeah. This play, oh, yeah. It brought everybody back, right? That's a good sign of a good tournament. That's yeah. right. And more. Oh, yeah. And it's, yeah. the size increased. But. Did you guys play together? We did. Nice. And yeah. mixed? Uh, <laughs> 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 you, you asked that question so seriously at first. I was like, Sorry. wait, what? <laughs> yeah, that was good. Did you guys play together, though? That's cool. We did, yeah, yeah, we're playing we together again did. Saturday as Excellent. well. But Saturday. Uh, what division, if you don't mind me asking? 3-5. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So yep. you got your practice in today. and uh, Yeah, yep. got our warm-up match in with Kyle. Nice. Yeah. Good warm-up. Nice. Meeting into yeah. the 3-5 uh, division. <laughs> That's fantastic. So, so good. And where are yeah. you guys from? Where do you guys come out of? I'm from the Detroit area here in yep. Michigan. Nice. And I'm originally from there, but I live in Naples, Florida now. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> And where did you learn to play pickleball, you guys? Uh, I, so I have uh, four courts in my community down Ooh. in Naples. And so just playing with neighbors and yeah. learning all the wrong things to do <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> and then coming here to the Beer City Open and getting my ass kicked and then realizing... Oh, that's how you're supposed to play. That's how you play the <laughs> yeah, game. Isn't okay. that fun? Yeah. Isn't that fun? That's, Very yeah. nice. Who are you? Yeah, and for me, he, he kept telling me about pickleball, and I didn't even believe him that it was a real thing. And then, uh, <laughs> right, right. I, and then there was a park near my house that I played disc golf at, and they put up six new courts. They replaced all their tennis courts with pickleball courts. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow, this thing is real. I'm going to give it a try. So I bought the cheapest paddles I could find. Yeah. Uh, I learned how to play with my wife and two daughters, and immediately I got hooked. Uh, I, I, it took me forever to find people to actually play with after that, though, because I, I guess I struggled. I didn't know about the USAPA or places mm-hmm. to play and things like that. Um, so it took me a while to finally find people to play with. And, like, the Beer City Open was, like, really the, our first true taste of, like, competitive pickleball. Mm-hmm. And both of us, it just, like, it ignited that flame. There you and go. We've, we've been hooked ever since. Got the fever. Yep. Well, yeah. I absolutely love what you guys are doing for the sport. Wow. I, I love that you guys are doing podcasts. I love that you're interviewing different pro players. You're doing the exhibitions. Um, I, I really like that because... Credit that where it, credit's due. That's, that's a good call. Yeah, it, ex- sure. it exposes the sport on social media. And I really think that's a big deal right now because that's what's just going to keep growing the sport. Yeah. You know, and I really do appreciate that. I think I've, I've mentioned that on the show before, but I just want to reiterate that and right. make sure it's out there. Thank you guys so much. Continue, please, doing what you're doing for the sport. Yeah. Oh, we will. Thank yeah. you for that. We Thank you for the kind love, words. I love you guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And I'm. So, who did you guys interview today? Oh, my God. We've had so many people on. We started off with Andrea Coop. Mm-hmm. And then let's see who came on after uh, that. The director of Perrin. Yeah, we had the director of Perrin. Uh, nice. um, Kyle joined us right after that. Yeah, uh, Ben Johns, Morgan, Morgan Evans, yep. Irina Terry. Yeah, yep. yeah. These are th- this is exactly what the sport needs. It's yeah. just exposure, and that's what you guys are doing with social media. Yep. And thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank so you. Appreciate much. that very much. But I gotta say too, like, and as much as I appreciate that, uh, keep doing what you guys are doing as well. And then also, um, I love the fact that. Everybody is so approachable in the sport too, right? Uh-huh. I mean, like, I'm not kidding you. When I watch you guys play, I'm so blown away by how good you are, how easy you make it look, right? And then to know that we're just sitting down, having some drinks, talking on a podcast. I, I, I love the accessibility that we have to you guys to, to get this content out there. So thank you for oh, that. Yeah. Yeah, and then like two weeks ago, I met Dave Weinbach for the first time at a tournament, and I <laughs> felt like I had known him forever. Like he just he was so yeah. nice and approachable. But man, when he got on that pickleball court, he flicked, yeah. flipped that switch, and man, Boom. the badger, the badger came out. The badger, the badger comes badger out. Comes out yeah. It's so funny because off the court you see great personalities, yeah. and then when you're on the court, you're like, damn, that person's <laughs> just like, they're competitive as heck, mm-hmm. you know, oh, yeah. and they do whatever it takes. But um, that's that's why this sport is so awesome. So yeah, <laughs> yeah I love it. I love it. We're gonna keep doing this as long as we can. Yeah, we, this is this is the best. We right. love it. Did you guys get a chance to eat? Not yet. So, all right, we're going to play play a little uh, pickleball trivia now. Oh, yeah. 
first to 800 points. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. All right first to 800. Around, right? 800 points. Okay. Oh. First question. Okay. You guys got to buzz in. You can All say right. ding or ant, whatever you got to do. Okay. You got to buzz in. Okay. For 100 points, Andrea Coop is essentially running this tournament. Absolutely. What is her maiden last name? <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right. Dang, first. that was definitely a tie yeah. between these. All right. We'll give it to uh, we'll give it to Eddie Reminci. That is correct. 100 points. That is correct. Yeah. I was gonna say. I knew that. Yeah. I knew that one. Yep. So, uh, what is her actual name? Andrea. Buzz in. Like current name. Her current and, name. Oh, uh, what is it? What Andrea Reminci Coop. Yes, it is Coop. Uh, that answer was in my question that I... Oh, <laughs> I stole it. Well, you got to make them a little tougher than, than 40 I'm seconds sorry. between the answer being said. So it still counts to me. It. If you ask me, that counts. I guess counts. you're right. I guess you're right. Just giving away points here on the Eddie and Webby. I'm I love it. sorry. Shall I? I'm sorry. I thought, okay. I all thought right. we were... This is a 200-point okay. question. Here we right. go. Ooh. Okay, this is, we all, as we all know, this is the second annual Beer City Open. Yes. Uh, in 2018... Who were the gold medalists in the mixed open division? And Kyle and Simone. That is correct. Oh! That is correct. Do, that is do you want to correct. know how I remember? Because I saw in the medal stand, I, I remember this picture. Everybody has their growler, and they were doing like a funny <laughs> picture where they're all like pretend like drinking they were drinking out of their nice. growler. And go. I was in my head, okay, who is on there? And I'm like, oh, yep, there they were. There they were. And, and wasn't Ben under yes. age yep. at that time? Yep. That's so crazy. He still is, isn't he? He's still underage. Yeah. Right? yeah. He's like 16. No. <laughs> He's not 16. Yeah, muscle milk goes a long way. He's 16 years old. <laughs> Well, I think he, what, he was 19 when he was on our show, so he's got to be, what, 19 or 20 at the oldest or something? Yeah. <laughs> I can't keep track of all of them. Oh we could go to Canada God. and he could drink there. So. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> We're close right. enough. Close yeah. enough to Canada for it to count. All right. I think Eddie's up 300 points. I am, man. Yeah. Come oh. on. Come I, on, I study. Rob. I study pickleball all the time. It's like Oh, nothing. shoot. <laughs> yeah. I okay. got to buzz in earlier. So yeah. Just okay. buzz in and then guess it wrong. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Rob's. Rob's. Uh, stirring up another question right now. Do, 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 okay. It doesn't have to be beer, beer, beer city uh, no, open no, related. Just, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Just, go ahead. Okay. Another quick lightning one. 100 points. <laughs> We've all heard of Morgan Evans. Stud. Right. Where's he from? Bam! Oh. <laughs> Was that a good bu- buzzing? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, that's Is good. Is it Australia? Yeah, but where in Australia? Oh my gosh! No, you no, said Australia is good. 100%. Okay, okay. Right. I was gonna say you gotta give that. Yeah, you could you could do like a bonus question. <clears throat> okay, in 2017, I'm going with. Okay. okay. At the U.S. Open, I don't even know if that date's right. <laughs> Kyle Yates won the mixed doubles age 19 plus open. That might be wrong, also. <laughs> <laughs> with. At- Sarah Yates Park. That is correct. Boom. Oh, hey, was she, was she yes. was a man. That's was it? correct enough. Okay. All right. And for 50 extra points, what color was her shirt in that final match? <laughs> pink. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> no, but I, I went eh. Oh. Oh. So eh. pink. Right. <laughs> I, I said it, but I didn't buzz in first, so I'm disqualified. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to buzz in here, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> it might not have, for, for the people keeping score at home, it might not have even been pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Steve Peranto. Yes. I call him the historian. Uh, yes. Yeah. He knows a fair amount about pickleball. He does, yeah. Yes. For 100 points, his father's name. Oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. I, I can't even buzz in on that. 30 seconds. tip of my tongue. What is Steve Peranto's father's oh. name? You, have to, you guys oh, have to guess. Oh, this is on the tip of my tongue. It's killing me. 26 seconds. Eh. John. I want to say it starts <laughs> with an A. Ooh, okay. That's worth six points. Okay, you're getting there. It does start with A. I'll help you guys out. Is it Adam? <laughs> 11 seconds. Anthony? No helping. Oh. Not, is it kind of a unique name? It's unique. Aloysius. You got... <laughs> you want 18 I want to say Abel. Is it Abel? It's not Abel. <laughs> I don't know why I want to say Abel. That's a, like a very unique name. All right, time has expired. <laughs> okay. It's Arlen Pranto. Arlen. Arlen. I knew it was a little bit on the different side. Um, okay. well, it, guy. It's funny you bring that up because when Steve Pranto was on our podcast, he actually was going to have... 
his dad there with him oh. for for part of it, but he wasn't able to do it. So. Yeah, because his dad is in the in the pickleball hall of fame because he created the first composite paddle. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Was that gonna be your next question? Yeah, the follow up. So I, 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 I get Arlen. points for that. I get points for that. <laughs> <laughs> for one hundred more points, what was the company that they uh, that they started? Ant. Prolite. That's correct. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm so oh. slow. And now, well, well. Okay. Eddie's in the lead for who, sure. Who? What is the name of the individual who currently owns Prolite? No. Hmm. I I do not know that. I'll give you a hint. This individual's father is also in the Hall of Fame. Oh. Hmm. Man, I wish I. I Great had... man. Great man. This individual. Prolite. Yeah. Is a, it's good company. Ooh. They really care about their pickleball. I'll say that. Oh much, yeah. You know. Yeah. They, definitely. They just they really and, care. and because I see no, Brian Ashworth. And, can we go with Ding now? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm only accepting Dings right, from Ding. Ding. <laughs> No, it's not even the right a- the answer, but Brian Ashworth is such a big pro-life person. So you're guessing that Brian Ashworth owns pro-life. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle is locking in with Brian Just, uh, Ashworth. Is owns- I don't want to lock in. Is that your final answer? <laughs> go the, with beard. Beard. the beard. <laughs> the beard. The <laughs> beard. Okay, so it's uh, Neil Friedenberg. Oh, nice. yeah. Oh, okay. Neil nice. Friedenberg. Is that... Um, yeah, well, how, what, yeah. what relation to Mark is he? Son. Okay. okay. It's his son. All oh, right. Nice. Yeah, well, we got to meet Yeah, I just, Mark, yeah. I just okay. met Mark, a.k.a. Yeah. Well, um, can I just say this Ding. is good history? I think I have the answer yeah. to your next question, Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> nice. That is correct. <laughs> yes. Great work. Great work uh, from Webby. That's, I, I that's think, good work. That's good investigative work. I think it's tied up now. Okay, the man behind me. We have a guest appearance Ding. for the next question. Gizmo, J. Hall. No, no, no. no, no that's not. incorrect. Okay. All right. We have Jay Hall here, also known as Gizmo. Yep. Home state of Virginia. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Virginia. From Virginia. Yes. Before becoming a professional, well-known pickleball player, what was... Don't, don't answer. Because don't, okay. don't, they got to answer. Okay. We have uh, to answer. What was his profession? Ding. Ding. I said ding. He's not accepting uh, buzzer noises. Yep. Yeah. Uh, firefighter. Fireman. That's not. That's, I'm sorry. That is what he, he does do that, but it's not what we were looking Can for. Can I do the other, my alternate no. answer? Ah, the other two no. get an no. option to. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Ding. Paramedic. Paramedic. That's also not the answer that no. we were looking for. Do I get another chance? Those are also or do, true. Uh, do you it, have an answer? Is it Ding Farmer? Yeah. Farmer is incorrect. <laughs> the correct answer. Well, I, I, think I, verif- I think I got it. I think I got it. Go ahead. I, I, for, my for last zero guess. points. Okay. For zero points. <laughs> um, I want to say a, a salesperson for fishing gear. No? <laughs> <laughs> he was a fisherman. Yo, just oh, fisherman. <laughs> just fisherman. Y'all are all dabbling around. <laughs> <laughs> just get so yes, to it. I own a fishing tackle company. Yes, he yeah. owns a fishing tackle company. Uh, and yes, I was a firefighter. And yes, I was a paramedic. <laughs> See? The correct title was a firefighter paramedic. Uh, fire, fire, uh, paramedic. Because together, y'all had the right answer. Uh, uh, yeah, Jay, I agree. I agree. No Boom. I'm Jay, disappointed Jay, in right myself right because he's my commentary husband. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So uh, Michelle Esquivel is uh, my beautiful. comment. Well, oh. yeah, of course, beautiful. But <laughs> my commentary wife. Uh, sorry, Rob. No, no offense. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I will wait for you. That's okay, and I and I appreciate that. You know, I'm I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but no, that's all I needed to hear. Uh, dude, pick, pickleball is amazing. Well, I mean, seriously. There what you else, go. What else now we we're getting to, to it. it? Yes. Hit it. Okay, hit uh, it. I, I often ask myself, what is it about pickleball that makes it? Mm. So addictive. Mm. So tell him. And you know, I really haven't found the answer. Mm. The one thing that I can say is, mm. it's the people. Mm. It's you know the relationships that you build with people on the road. Mm. I mean, like we're practically family. Mm-hmm. We see mm-hmm. each other in multiple states. I mean, I just saw Rob in Virginia less than two, like two weeks ago. How was I doing? Know, how was uh, I doing? <laughs> where were we at, Michelle? Atlanta. Tell them how I was doing in Virginia. Oh. We were in Atlanta. You guys were in Virginia, so Gizmo, you're all over the place. Well, you know, my boy Rob came to Virginia. I had to drive uh, three six hours. six hours total, three hours down, three hours back, to come show some love. That's you know? right, he did. Um, and if you know me, I got a, a hashtag that I'm pushing right now. Support those that support you. Yeah. I mean, from the moment that I met Rob at the Atlanta open not this past year but the one before that he showed me nothing but love mm-hmm. from the moment mm-hmm. that i came in contact with you guys nothing but love, nothing for but love, love. baby mm-hmm. michelle oh nothing yeah but love that's pickleball baby support those that support you i mean really that's what it's all about absolutely yeah. for sure wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, so yeah. like michelle's trying to shove this microphone down my throat <laughs> yeah. it's because i have the, the that was a fantastic oh, so guest appearance. Yeah. I, I, so i know what you sound like oh. 
I know what you sound like too. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn! <laughs> I need to find that commentary. Well, yeah. I know, right? I right. know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but all right, Jay. So yeah. now, now that you're here, uh, while we have you, I want you. You get the privilege to ask the next. A trivia question for these three. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna steal it if I can, but go uh, ahead. Okay. It's a pickleball trivia question. Anything you want. This is for 200 points. All right. So here, this is what we're gonna do. What is the most durable pickleball? Eh. Or, or ah, ding. Nobody said. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> is it Franklin? Ding. No. I mean, Franklin's not bad. You know, as you far got as, a ding over here. Okay. Well, what you got? So, I think it's the most durable, durable, but it's not my favorite, uh, and that would be the Onyx Pier Two. Is that what it is? The Pier Two. Yeah, that's, that's a good answer. That's, that's, that's it's definitely almost an indestructible ball. Yeah, <laughs> like I've tried. Yeah, you I've tried. tried. So my neighbors try because all they do is bang the ball, and that's why they love it. But anyway, uh, they yeah, and and that thing that thing never wears. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what what do you got? What you got, Webby? Yeah, I was gonna say Onyx. Yep. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no, Onyx no, no, outdoor yeah. golf for sure. You're just gonna ride his coattail, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's, That's what I was gonna do. say. It really was. I, I know. I know. <laughs> sure, you were. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with either the Franklin or the Onyx. Okay. You know, it's as not far an opinion. As, <laughs> <laughs> I, why it's, it's it supposed to be a matter of fact. But these are facts, though. We need some uh, conviction you, in this well, answer but, but, here. But listen, you know, if you got the Dura 40s, I mean, they practically come out of the package, out of round. <laughs> no, the Franklin breaks before the uh, before the Onyx Outdoor, though. You know? I, I agree. They the have Onyx lifespans. You know, we're yeah. not saying which yes. ball's better. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Dur- durability. It's not about better. You know, you're speaking of durability, the Jugs ball will last till you know. Yeah. Till the, till the cows, cows come, come home. home. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, see, tested. We tested um, that. I okay. think cows zero, came home. We were still playing. Zero points were rewarded for the. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We all got points. We all okay. got points. Okay, okay. okay. Gonna... So everyone gets 50 points at least. All right. Okay. So I'm at okay. like 700. You're, Eddie's um, in the lead. Yeah, I think so I'm So 100 winning. points away from taking this whole thing oh, down. Oh, wow. Rob, man. you uh, have to have another like yeah. trivia question. Okay. And, and let's make this one worth 1,000 points. So this is okay. this is a game taker. So this oh, yeah. is winner this winner thing. takes all right winner here. Winner takes all. Where do I yeah, go? We, dude, mm-hmm. you, you got, you're running this too, Jay. We're all we're all in this. <laughs> so even okay. Gizmo's in on this one. Yeah, I need some points. <laughs> <laughs> Man, such. This is pressure, Rob. It is. This good. is pressure. So much. Go deep. Go deep, um, man. Yeah. All right. No, it's not going to be hard. Oh, this is not going to be hard. Hopefully, what? someone can answer this then. <laughs> okay. The year is 2019. Ding. The- True. <laughs> okay. You are so correct. Then- <laughs> okay. Um. In 2018, the Tournament of Champions happened. You are okay. correct. Yeah. Uh, as it does every year. <laughs> uh, the men's doubles finals happen. Ooh, I think I know this. Who? I want to. I want this person to name all four individuals oh. Damn. that oh, were man. in the Tournament of Champions 2018 final. Damn it. What? What? When? Damn when it. was that? I know the. I, I know Michelle, the. That's I know the finalists in. though. I know the champions of that. Okay, but see, here's the risk. But who did they play? <laughs> Michelle, that's not an acceptable answer. Okay, I'll give you guys half of the answer because no, 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 Tyson no, 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 no. We don't oh. want you to do that. Okay, okay, no, never gotta, mind, never want, mind. It's a thousand point question. That, Adam. That's, are, are we that's talking the a three point division? Or are we talking? <laughs> I mean, what are we talking here? Okay, so the question is: 2018 TOC in the gold medal match. Who were the four individuals on the court for men's men's Hubble. gold Double medal match? Yeah. Yes. I'm just gonna name the champions. I'm. I'm just gonna do it. Don't. Matt Goble and Tyson McGuffin won that. Am I correct? I don't know. You didn't even buzz Damn in. It. You didn't okay. even buzz in, Michelle. Yeah. Ding, there's rules. Ding, ding. You may not know this, but there's rules. Okay, ding. <laughs> ding. Ding. Do it. Ding. Matt Goble and Tyson McGuffin yeah. won that, right? Okay, so those are not the four people that were on the match. They were, were not, at- but oh. were they the champions? Do we have security? <laughs> well, man, what is going man, on You only here? gave half the correct answer. She's hijacking my show. I mean, uh, your show. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, just I'm, I'm trying just to help. I'm trying to help with the answer. You're doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Security. All right, yes. all right. This Eddie, Eddie Webby, it's up to you guys. Can you name the uh, perhaps other two? She gave you a good clue. Matt Goble and Tyson McGuffin. And, and, and I know it wasn't Ben Johns and Aspic because no. they played together. They played together. I think I don't think they they mm. were were into the finals. 
Thousand point question. Thirty can, seconds. This, uh, this uh, can, is can, a can I, good. Can I ask you a yes, question? you can Google it. Well, I'm no, gonna okay, Google yeah. it. Um, no. So is it is it a is it a pair that typically play together or not? They've played together before. It's not the first time, but I'll say no. I don't know. It's a good answer. <laughs> Twenty seconds. I'm I'm straight up googling it. <laughs> I am in 2000. Well, can, if anybody wants to type in, if anybody wants to type in the answer, they will win the thousand points and therefore win the pickleball trivia at the Beer City Open. In 2018, at the Tournament of Champions gold medal match for the men's doubles open division, who were the four individuals that were on that court? Damn it, it's can not... Can I take a guess, or a guess is not allowed? You, you can guess, because yeah, that's a... Guess. Just ding in, just ding in. Ding. Uh, I got it. Oh, go ahead. No. Uh, Matt somebody, Wright? Matt Wright. Eh. No, that's did wrong. Did somebody type it in? I did. did no, did, a, did, a, did somebody who was watching type it in? Oh, no. Oh, you were oh. talking about out there. No, oh, I, I, was gonna I give Googled them the opportunity. it. Yeah, he oh, Googled, Googled it. it. Googled yeah, it, it would have popped up up there. Man, these did. guys are really good at <laughs> Googling things. Yeah, I'm the best <laughs> All right, Googler in the world. Michelle, okay. this is pickleball. I don't know if there's viewers <laughs> the or not, but you want to give them an opportunity <laughs> I, to try and chime in? Yeah, right? let's go, guys. What's All up? Right. We'll give you guys 30 seconds. Yeah, if everybody. you're watching, you could win the old, you could win the TOC, which would be your choice of any color. <laughs> yep. That's right. Uzi. That's so yes, true. Be a and great also prize. a freaking paddle of your choice. <laughs> it's out there. Okay. It's out there. Okay. And while we wait for the uh, answer, I'm gonna go over there and do a little bit of research of my own. AKA, I gotta take a, a bathroom break real quick. All right, do it up. <laughs> do it up. Do it. Uh, All right. 40 sec, 30 seconds, yeah. 20 seconds. Jump on in, man. So this is Hey, live. Webby. <laughs> <laughs> and Webby's now been replaced, man. <laughs> the show is officially hijacked. Yeah. Hey, it, um, Zane Affleck, thanks for joining us. How are yeah. you? Right, here, give me What's going on, man? Go ahead. You got to basically right, get gotta, your gotta, face right on that. Zane, we're in the middle of a trivia co uh, competition, and I figured I'd throw a, uh, throw a question at you, see <laughs> okay. if you know it, okay? Yeah. If you get this question right, you okay. win the okay. entire trivia competition, <laughs> because this... This, this question's worth a thousand points. Okay, let's see. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. In 2018, <laughs> at the Tournament of Champions, the gold medal match for the Open Division occurred between four individuals. Who were those four individuals in that gold medal match? 2018. Let's see. Kyle Yates. <clears throat> no? No, <laughs> Kyle Yates was not in. 2018? 2018. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I had I better I'm ready, answer. I'm ready, I'm ready. Callan? No. 2017. That was 2017. 2018. 2018. Marson. That was 20. Oh my god! I already did better than Zane. Hold on. Hold oh wait, on. that was 2017. Hold on. Hold on. Tyson. Okay, so that's one of the four. Matt. Matt. Goble. That's two of the four. Okay. Versus. Did anybody type it in? Not yet. Okay. Uh, Oh, we have okay. one from Tony Rowan said green. I don't Dave know. Dave Weinbach. <laughs> green is correct. <laughs> yeah. no. Dave Weinbach. Dave Weinbach. Okay. So who does Dave play with? Dave Weinbach. Hold on, hold on. Don't tell me. Who did he play with? He played Not Matt Wright. with... Not Ky was it Kyle Yates? Wes Gabrielson. Yeah. What? That is correct. Yes! Nice job, man. Yeah. That was such a great question. Very good, everybody. <laughs> yes. Very so nice. The answer, people take keeping score at home. Uh, the four people in that match was Tyson McGuffin, Matt Goble, who won it, versus Wes Gabrielson and Dave Weinbach. It was a great match. It's on YouTube somewhere, I'm sure. It's a really I, good match. I have it. Right here, I'm going to be watching it later. Yeah, we'll play the credits out to that man. Yeah, that'd can be I, fun. Can I watch it with you? Of course you can. All right. Yeah, I'm just excited you're here, man. Dude, we haven't had a chance to hang out. Dude, I've been I've been watching, sitting in the corner waiting. You know. Yeah. Y'all y'all had some all stars on the show today, baby. You know, I I don't even fit in. Oh, know? get out of here, man. I just want to be yeah. able to hold y'all's uh, you know, be all water boy. <laughs> get out of there. You know. Yeah. Hey, Webby, why don't you take my spot for a little bit? I got to do the same thing. Oh my goodness gracious. That was like the most awkward exit I could have possibly done. What, yeah, uh, sorry, sorry. So, uh, Zane, do you uh, do you freestyle? <laughs> <laughs> Zane, do you, do you freestyle? Music or yeah, you drop, you drop, you drop bars. Yes. <laughs> got bars, baby. <laughs> this is my buddy Mark Mal Malat. Nice. Yeah. So, like, this have, is my, are we climbing like, yeah. this is my or have we gotten rid of all of them for you? No, we still we still got viewers, man. Okay, great, great. This is riveting entertainment right great. here. I love great. it. Great, <laughs> great, great. 
great. Uh, and right. for anybody wondering, uh, I am not Coolio <laughs> with the hair. I am I'm not. Uh, Dude, I'm glad you said something because I was wondering. You know, I'm about to start busting out with the gangster's paradise yeah, here in no been, time. <laughs> been spending most of our lives living in a pickleball paradise. Pickleball right? paradise. Nice. There we go. You know, that might have to be the style. that might have to be go. the next parody there that we do go. here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey. to- I see Tony Roan says green. Was that the answer to a trivia question or yeah. what? Okay. He, he lost points on that one though. Oh, he sorry, did. Tony. You do not win the prize. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh man. All right. So, all right. We got four uh, dapper individuals here. What's next? What's next on the agenda? So Should we get nitty gritty or what? Yeah, I think we should definitely get nitty gritty. I don't okay. know what you mean by that, but it sounds good. <laughs> okay. Well, it involves us keeping our shirts on, so that's good. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that's right. just gritty. Right. That's not nitty gritty. <laughs> oh, Michelle's back. All right, back. Michelle's back. All right, shirts off. What's shirts going on? <laughs> okay. Shirts off. Well. Get out of here. <laughs> so I've got a question for everybody. Great. How about we start? We'll do, uh, what is this, counterclockwise? Okay. Yeah, it's counterclockwise. Yep. Other than being... On the Eddie and Webby show right this very moment, what is your favorite pickleball memory so far? Or one of your favorite pickleball memories? Mm, or is, experiences? That is tough. It would have to be this one right here. Woo! Yes. No, it what? wasn't, Dave. <laughs> you know it was Ben 2016 when you tore up that 4-5 competition <laughs> in your last 4-5 event of your life when you slaughtered that bracket with that other 4-5 player and you destroyed, decimated the competition, left them smoldering for that gold medal in Ben. It was incredible. It was a sight to see. That by far must be your favorite pickleball moment. Uh, you know, Eddie. Uh-oh. What's that? I, I was, no, I'm waiting for the explanation. Oh. It's four or five slaughter. That was his nah. last one. He, it was when he became 5 0. <laughs> right? Honestly, I don't have a favorite. It's too hard to pick. Because they're all so great. They're so great. Yeah, every moment is amazing. Zane, do you love pickleball? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think you can love anything. I think you can like it. You can like it a lot. So is that a oh, no? Yes. I think you like. Is it. that a sad no? It's no, I, no you like it. Yeah, I I'm like gonna it. go with he yes. And that he does <laughs> love pickleball, but he has a hard time conveying his feelings. Folks. So the answer is yes, he does, but he just has a hard time admitting it. <laughs> Thanks, Zane. Thanks for being honest. Uh, <laughs> All right, oh, yeah, next. It's your turn next. Okay. Okay. Um, favorite pickleball memory? Shoot. Yes. Damn. Or one of it doesn't have to be the favorite because I always I like hate so I always hate answering better. yeah so I always hate answering like, this definitely, is my favorite definitely <laughs> definitely a highlight in my career was just uh, recently at Centralia Washington in the indoor championships where I got to play with Tyler Loom and we won that we won oh. that tournament but um, it was so great because. We were down a game and a half, I want to say, against Tyson McGuffin and Irina Tereschenko, who are two of my freaking idols, right, in oh, pickleball. Yeah. And somehow we turned it around and we, and we beat them in the bronze medal match. And then we went, we went to continue on to the, 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 to the gold medal match where we beat the Newmans, who I also love and respect so much. So that's definitely one of nice. my highlights in my pickleball career because of, and also the location and the indoor championships. Like the community and the indoor championships is so cool. And it's, it is a different game yep. than the outdoor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, it doesn't really uh, count on paper, does it? <laughs> I mean, uh, so Zane? Does it count? So, yeah, Michelle, that, was, Michelle, that was a huge win. So, yeah, congratulations. I felt like it was a huge win. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Rob Cassidy. I just, thank, and thank indoor Zane. Indoor doesn't count. You guys, uh, yeah. No, Zane, <laughs> it does. And, <laughs> and Zane, when you come to the indoor championships and challenge us, then we'll go go uh, ahead and talk. It's, it's, it's so, just too Michelle, easy. Indoor is so too Michelle, easy. Too easy. Congratulations on that win because that was thank such a you. big win. Thank you, Rob Cassidy. I'll finish my compliment. <laughs> because it was such a big win uh, because of, like you said, how big that bracket was and you guys played freaking awesome and I also want to um, solidify what she said that tournament is like a festival the Centralia Indoor <laughs> International is such a great tournament the atmosphere is just it's what brings keeps me coming back every year I love that tournament I'll be there every year for the rest of my whatever nice pickleball career for, that's, right. that's right I'll be crawling there uh, I registered so first before I even get into my pickleball story uh, Rob Cassidy 
just stole Michelle Esquivel's beer and what? not just sipped it, but <laughs> so I'm gonna get more. What? But crushed it. You have but no the, proof. The thing that he, <laughs> this empty glass is the proof. I but the thing been that he, the empty glass. He <laughs> that, was no. there. that was already there. <laughs> that beer was my beer <laughs> that I was sharing with Michelle. <laughs> so now I'm beerless. I'm oh thirsty. man, beerless but not fearless. There you go. <laughs> no beerless and fearless. There we go. At there the Beer go. City Open. There you go. Uh, <laughs> So for me, I'd say my biggest pickleball moment is uh, anybody who's watched any of my singles matches knows that it's always a crapshoot. I'm either on fire or I'm just like, yo, who let this guy register for this? Uh, Well, at 2018 Nationals, I had a flight out of LAX at uh, around 6 p.m. And I started playing earlier, like, you know, I don't know, 11 a.m. start time. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to change my flight because I'm probably going to go 0-2. Well, I ended up going deep and then getting a bronze medal, and I missed my flight and had to buy a one-way ticket back home, and that one-way ticket was just as much as my round-trip ticket that I had already purchased. Oh, man. That was an expensive medal, but it's uh, one that I'll never forget. Oh, I bet. I'll go that. That, That's where I'm at so far. That's that's some great hardware to have right there. Yeah. For sure. Expensive, but, (laughs) you know, it is what it is. What about you, Rob? Oh, my gosh, dude. I can barely file cabinet these bad boys, how many fantastic <laughs> memories I have with Pickleball. I can't even tell you what. So I picked out two, right? Um, and an honorable mention, you know, Simone Jardim giving me the thumbs up after she wins her gold medal match at Nationals. Like, that's just cool things like that. Like, you know, like, that happened. I love that, you know? I love Simone. She's just such a great She's player. She's awesome. But uh, the two that I'll give right now, I'm going to give two, if you don't mind. Yeah, okay? go for it. Right, yeah. You. I appreciate you. <laughs> um, so two, I'll go one. U.S. Open this year. Right? This is the fourth year, right? It is. Of the U.S. Open. Yeah. And uh, I'm there. I'm like, you know, just kind of walking around. I've got, like, my cargo shorts on. And I just kind of, here we go again, another year. You know, there's no way that's going to be different. Or there's no way it could be better than last year, right? Within about eight minutes of being there, I'm on the show court, okay, being called onto the court by Morgan Evans to play a rec game with myself, Morgan Evans against Dave Weinbach and Matt Wright. Oh, nice. Uh, so in terms of, you know, re- as far as rec play goes, that's just a dream come true. Oh, yeah. Right? oh, yeah. On the center court, on the zigzag court at the U.S. Open, you know, the music's playing in the background. They had a fantastic soundtrack this year. That sound guy did a fantastic job. And that whole game, that th- well, the three games that we played, it was just a, f- a wonderful time. I was, like, I was like, oh, yeah, this is why I play the game. This is why I come. This is why we do this. This is who we are. And this is why it's great. You know what I mean? So it just really, um, it really hit home. That was, that was fantastic. Nice. So that's one. Right. <clears throat> uh, the second one, well, I'll say, happened uh, last week. Okay, I'm in Rochester, New York, walking through the mall because in Greece the DMV is connected to the mall, so I had to go to the DMV to take care of a couple things. And uh, I'm the type of person that when I have a ticket, I walk around the mall instead of staying in the uh, DMV. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. They got nice people here. Yeah, they do. Okay, so painting the picture, walking through the mall, waiting for my DMV. Right? Waiting for my DMV ticket to get called. You guys yeah. know how that works? I stop into a Zoomies. I'm good. I'm good. I'll just do yeah. my best to tell the story oh, as best you. I can. Thank you, sir. I stop into a Zoomies. You might be familiar with that store. It's a younger audience. And uh, as you know, the employees at those types of stores, it's basically mandated or protocols for them to ask me if I need anything or if there's anything they could help me with, right? <laughs> right. And the last thing I wanted was just to be talked to by someone who it was in part of their job description to talk to me. Right? You with me? I was like, can't this guy just read my face and know that I don't want to be asked if I could be helped right now? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Could you please? Yeah. Like, look at my face. Like, don't. Right? <laughs> so that's where I was at. I was like, I just want to walk around, please. Right? So instead of uh, asking me what, um, <clears throat> if I needed help with anything, he said, pickleball? Hey, you play pickleball? Yo, I love pickleball. It's fun. <laughs> that shit, and he, he went off on it. I happened to be wearing my U.S. Open shirt like underneath a jacket, and he's like, I love, we play that game. doesn't matter if you're good or bad, man. I love this game. kid's probably like 22, 21 years old and working there, and he just went off on my shirt about how much he loves pickleball. And the two friends that was with, were with him were like, they weren't giving that like snooty like, what the hell is this kid talking about? <laughs> they were like, yeah, he's speaking the truth, you know, and like, I, I don't know, that. it kind of like turned me around and he just like kind of talked to me about pickleball that way, a young person to kind of approach me right. and start talking to me about how much he loves pickleball mm-hmm. just because I happen to be wearing a shirt that said the words on it. That's mm-hmm. awesome. It, went, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And they were like, 
they were like, wait, why does your shirt say it? And I was like, oh, this is from a tournament at the Naples. They're like, oh, so you compete in it? They're like, uh, oh, we got, uh-huh. we got a pickleball god in here. Like, uh-huh. That's what he said. I was like, nice. not, not that far, but yeah, man, appreciate it. And he's like, they, they um, I was like, so I walked around the store, tried to play it cool for a little bit, and I wanted to thank him. I was like, yeah, it was nice talking to you earlier. He's like, yeah, you, you got an Instagram? Like, how do we follow you? Oh. I, was like, I was like, yeah, I'm trying to keep an Instagram. So yeah, you could check me out, Rob Cassidy 7 I can't believe I just plugged that. Oh, plug it now. That's when you know you've made it, right? When you plug uh, things. That's right. Rob. On the Eddie and Webby show. Yeah, Rob. exactly. Yeah. I have a similar story. Hold on. Let me just wrap it up. Real okay, quick. wrap it up. So I have a similar story. I said, thank you so much. No, said, this is good. This I said, I compete good. in Michigan next week. And he goes, he goes, hey, good luck, man. We'll be rooting for you. There you go. And I was like, that was freaking awesome. That's oh, so yeah. nice. My but, expectation of being bothered by an individual leading to that, that was a pretty cool pickleball moment. That's and like very I cool. said, that's just one of hundreds of thousands hundreds, that I most yeah. like. I can't even yeah. John Gardner, he's probably about 75 years old. He's a Rochester legend in my opinion in terms of the community. I'm not saying he's a 5-5 player, but John Gardner has been on the round in Rochester, which is where I learned how to play pickleball forever. And I got to play a a, ma- a game with him Sunday morning. And you know what I mean? Like just those types of things are so great, you oh, know. Oh yeah. Never forget it. Yeah, You'll like like I'm giving it. back, he's giving I, I, it's just it's yeah. too good. There you it's go. Too good. So, you know. Yeah, I, I personally have had some amazing experience just this this past uh, year. It's been crazy. Oh my uh, goodness! But I mean, just just today, today absolutely is going down in history as one of my favorite days ever. I mean, yes. just this right here is epic. Yes, uh, you like this? Uh, this, yes. this is awesome, you man. Like I love this. Yeah. I love you know, this. You know, you like that uh, the trivia. You know, oh yeah, that, like was, that, that was that was awesome. That was, was a, that was the first. That was the first for the show. I liked it. I was kind of like, I don't know how this. Is. And then Zayn Affleck showed up, and I was like, Oh, we got this. <laughs> yeah. This is we awesome. We got this. So this is what we call squad goals. Squad goals. Squad you know, goals. Squad goals. Nice. You know, uh, everybody vibing together. We chilling, man. That's what piss what it's all about. Oh yeah, absolutely, good times man. With good friends, playing good pickleball. I mean. Beautiful weather, beautiful food, beautiful beer. Thanks, Michelle, for the round. Absolutely. Oh, that was, Absolutely. That, Michelle, thank you so much. For yeah, the thank round. you. Yes, I, I uh, enjoyed. I needed, I needed another I one. Thank you. I enjoy your guys' company. So, Here's gross. As, as you're drinking your beer, let me Here's tell you gross. my story. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay, so um, I, I've i really admired, and I hate to say this because it's so expensive, but I've really adv- admired Lululemon's clothing. Okay. How much are they paying you, Michelle? <laughs> They're not. Right? Oh my goodness. That's a, that's a, that's a problem. Like I Sheesh. go and I grab this like clothing because I love it so much. So I go, I just like you, Rob, I kind of like was talking to the owner. I've never been to Lululemon. Well, you know. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so I was talking to who I, who I didn't know was the owner of the company or not the company, but the store of Lululemon in Minnesota when I was doing a camp over there. And I was trying to find, you know, a couple things here and there. And sure enough, because we were talking pickleball, because we were talking pickleball, he just he just let me have a, a few things from the store. Because we were talking <laughs> wow. pickleball. Because he loved the sport so much. And and I was, I was telling him, look, I play professional pickleball uh you know i compete within uh the top of the game um i'm i'm top five in singles you are the top of the game i try to be i try (laughs) fun fact uh this year was michelle esquivel's first u.s open and in singles which is not easy in that environment in singles and we all know if you lose once you can't take the gold correct we all know that Ah. format I did, uh, I did Michelle learn that. Michelle Esquivel took a game from Simone Jardim in their best of three. She went to three games with Simone Jardim, and she also went three games with Lucy Kovalova. Wow. That was her first year at the U.S. Open. You guys. Wow. <laughs> I mean, somebody typed it to me. I just read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was, that was uh, mm. intense. All right. I, yeah, that, thank you. Shifting gears. Oh, no, thank you. Shifting gears. Zane. Who? <laughs> Brought you, who brought you on to pickleball? I, I want, want to know that Zane, for myself. Zane, I want one name. I want one name. Who brought you on to pickleball? I want to know. Who did? Okay, Michelle, let him answer. Um, Sorry. He, one name. Starts no, with, you guys wouldn't know him. So. Starts with a G. Yeah. Rhymes with N. Denning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter no. if we know him. Just say the no, name. No, no. It was actually my high school uh, baseball coach. Nice. I, uh, he was my teacher for a, a lifetime sports class and he would take us over to the college in our 
in our town, and he just say, well, there's pickleball, there's basketball, and, we, and I played pickleball with them for the first time and didn't know what I was doing, but they had the wood paddles and everything. How'd you feel about it when you played? Back in 2011. How'd you feel about it when honest. you played? You were in high school in 2011? <laughs> Times are changing, Jay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. That just threw me off. Zane, why, why? How old do you think I am? I Zane. mean, I graduated in 04. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you make me feel old. High, high school You part? are seven high years older than me, Me son. too. Zane. Yo, that's yes. why we're married. That's why we're married. <laughs> so, yeah, my... Uh, Zane, Zane, when you played the game the first time, how'd you feel about it? I thought it was pretty stupid. I mean, I thought, I thought, <laughs> I thought baseball was obviously basketball, football, way more fun, obviously. But I was in high school, so, you know, I was, wasn't really about... So, just... Yeah. What, how did you feel about it? Well, I thought it was stupid it mainly because the paddles back then were mostly wood. I don't think everybody really, because unless you were a, so the probably a tournament player back then, sure. you, then you really didn't know what was like the the better technology. Let's delve a little you bit. I mean? Okay, so you thought that so it was stupid because, because of the, the wood paddles. Because the technology yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, just, well, I mean, it just made the game like a little boring because you don't have the same shots. With a wood paddle, you can't hit the same shots. And what you can't kept do the same you playing things. when you thought the game was stupid? What I didn't. You <laughs> I didn't play. So then oh, I uh, right. went off now to college. There. I got a scholarship for baseball, and I ended up you, focusing you. on baseball. I served, a, I served a mission for my church. So I just was away from it for like four or five years. And then after I graduated and was done in like 20, uh, was it 16? Yeah. I yeah. Uh, decided I saw some guys playing out in... My in St. George, where I'm from, and yeah. and there was obviously better paddles, different stuff, mm -hmm. friends, and then just kind of like thought the game was a little bit more fun, a I, little I, less stupid. I mean, uh, yeah, there's more shot selections, different different uh, things you could experiment with, different uh, different materials, and then your friends are. I'm competing with my mm -hmm. peers back in high school. Zane, you know, those guys are high school people. Zane, I have so. a question. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Does it say in the rule book that you can't? attempt to hit somebody with your serve. <laughs> yes. And why are you asking this question, Rob Cassidy? <laughs> You're jumping body. ahead. Oh. You jumped the gun, okay, Michelle. Okay. You just, let, you let just can't do that. Guys, let's all just okay. take a deep breath. Okay. Let's all just take a deep breath. Are we talking okay. about the infamous Nasty Nelson? No, 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 no. Guys, no, we're not talking about any of that. Tim. Okay. All I'm asking, Zane, and I'm asking <laughs> if, 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 I'm asking you, D does Wait. it wh does it say somewhere in the rule book that you can't hit attempt to hit somebody with your serve? Should we ask the uh, head referee? We, can, we should ask the head referee. Yeah. I didn't mean to no. uh, pull anything up. I wasn't sure if you knew or not. But uh, as far as my understanding is that it doesn't state in the rule book that you cannot attempt to. Uh, no. You cannot. I haven't read it's the entire play. thing. You I can't. consider myself a four zero four five ref. You can't. You're not allowed you, to. You are a five zero five I. Five five six zero oh, ref because you have done. <laughs> well, after plenty. six beers, of course I'm a five five ref. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Look, Kazim. So wait, so oh. I, I I believe it does not say in the rule book it that you not. cannot oh. attempt to. So that's really just where I want to start off. I'm it's not trying to play. get. I'm not okay. trying to go anywhere crazy or. Anything okay. Like that. All right. All right. But in the rules, right? We can all agree <laughs> to our knowledge, and none of us have read it. <laughs> Actually, I, I have. Oh, I'm, well, I'm a USAPA go. ambassador. I've read the go. entire. Here we I've, go. I've read the entire rule book. I the do not. Referee? I cannot uh, say Webby, that there is a cover. rule that says that. Thank you, Webby. I knew we had you here for a reason. <laughs> I knew we brought you here for a reason. You read it from that, cover to cover. So yeah. So it doesn't say. It doesn't state. And and rightfully so, in my opinion. Right. Hey, gamesmanship, unsportsmanlike conduct, what have you? But um, but that's. I mean, I can, I'll get to where I'm. Where I could go with this anyway. Go but, for uh, it. Sure. Sure. Um. I mean, we could start. I'll, I'll, I'll jump to Atlanta, right? Uh, raise your hand if you were at Atlanta this year. Can I raise two hands? Rob yeah, was not one, there, two. but he knows uh, the story. Webby, were you there? I was not there, no. Oh, I'm and sorry. Wybie probably knows the story, I got kicked too. Out. Oh. Do you have a hand? You didn't raise <laughs> All right, well, we had people who were there. Anyway, did they didn't. Were they you didn't, there, Rob? No, unfortunately, I had to How work. How did you know this? <laughs> Um, it got brought up to me. I didn't get to see any of your uh, online banter or anything like that. I didn't get to see that, but I heard fr from yes. what I, I heard from what I understand is the facts, and so I ha I made you know inferences from the facts that I heard. So I thought it was a very interesting occurrence of what happened. And um, I mean, I don't feel that where you were that you were entirely in the wrong. So uh. you're welcome. So can we can we like recap what happened? Yeah, I feel yeah. like we need to. Uh, I feel can like we, we need more please? information here. Can I think I please? know where you're going uh, with this. Rob, please explain. I'm yeah, not very or, good. Or, I'm not, or maybe Zane or no, yeah. whoever. Yeah. I mean, Rob seems to have the facts. No, it's okay. Okay. So here's what I'd like. Okay, so you guys were there. I'll go through the process. If I say anything wrong, I'd like you to correct it. If you mm -hmm. have anything to add, you know, 
Yeah. I'd like you to add it, but Michelle, no yelling. Okay. <laughs> Done with the yelling. All right, I'll no, keep her. Kidding. I'll keep her in check. I got her. I got her. <laughs> okay, so let's start from the beginning. Okay, um, in this match, it's not the first time it's ever been done, folks. Um, Zayn Affleck uh, boldly decides to attempt <laughs> to attempt to uh, you know hit hit a t hit an opponent with his serve. Uh, which is referred to as the Nasty Nelson, so it actually has a name for a play. I actually right? hit. Are we talking so about the doubles or I hit, mixed? I hit no, no. the Puppet Master. No, we'll just get to what's important. Wait, well, well, the day before, I'd, I had already hit the Puppet Master. Sure, which That's is, which is very great. That's yes. just a great occurrence that that occurred. That's yeah, fantastic. Isn't that very so what occurrence are you talking about? <laughs> are you talking about the... We all need to just stay focused. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that's what okay. this was going to. I thought there was going to be this story. Oh, you knew I was the guy? I, yeah, oh, I did. I, I there's the a video, video recently got oh, yes. put out there Who about it. Know that you're <laughs> the guy? So I much, the guy. so much. Anyway, guys, we're talking about rules and what's right <laughs> and wrong. On task and was here. things just and were things justified, okay? <laughs> so the facts of the matter are, in the match, St. Affleck attempted to uh, intentionally hit um, an opponent with his serve. Which correct? is legal. Did you successfully hit the opponent? Which one? The Tim Nelson? The one that you got uh, expelled from the uh, tournament. Expelled. No, I did not. <laughs> you did not. Yeah. And how many times did you attempt to hit that individual? Or an individual? It doesn't matter. <laughs> on the you. serve? Yeah. Yeah, so once. Once? Only once? Yes. Okay. And <laughs> on that one attempt, is that when you received your warning? No. No. When did you receive your warning? I didn't receive a warning. You didn't receive a warning? For hitting a nasty Nelson? Yeah. No, I never did. You didn't receive a warning. Okay, so you intentionally um, attempted to hit the the opponent. Um, you didn't. You didn't hit him. You didn't hit them. Yeah. And then, um, and then what happened? Just disqualified. Just you said two words. Just disqualified. Yeah. They disqualified you for attempting to hit that individual. Yeah. Yeah. It went from A to B like that. Yes. That's more like A to Z. Honestly, oh, the wow. consequence in my, I mean. That doesn't sound like we have everything there, but I'll just say it doesn't. The consequence of attempting to hit somebody with the serve and missing um, means you lost the point because it's yeah. not a legal serve, and then it's you right. know, a serve too. You know, there, yeah. there's, there's risks involved with attempting yeah. to do the nasty Nelson. Oh yeah, I risk high uh, reward. Uh, uh, nasty Nelson coined after Tim Nelson, who was generally the first person who uh, who who um, start, uh, created that. Right. Um, who Zane Affleck. <laughs> The creator of the Nasty Nelson, Zane Affleck, Nasty Nelson, the creator of the Nasty Nelson. I actually, I want to hear more about that. <laughs> I want to, I want to hear it from the man himself. I do too. I <laughs> There's really a, do. There's too Let's many to things that. to talk Let's about. Let's do it. Let's Spill get to it. that. that Spill uh, the we'll get to that. That's a beautiful moment. That is a beautiful moment. That was such a good build. Up. What I think we need to do is 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 delve through. Can what we watch the video happen at the same time? Oh, uh, we've all seen. Oh man, I bet <laughs> our viewers would love to see if it. Eddie was where's here. Eddie, uh, where's Eddie at? If, if Eddie was here, he could. Yes. It up. I don't know Classic. where he is. All right, Michelle. I can diagnose Rob, the whole thing. Rob. Zane. Okay, I, Michelle. I would like Rob. to have commentary on the video at the same time. Zane, be one more second, please. For me. So, Michelle, you were there also. I right? was. Zane I was. is, is um, apparently incapable of, of um, painting the full picture for me. We need the right? video oh. of you, our nasty Nelson. Uh, would you mind? Uh, Filling me in here, okay? I'm gonna start us off, and I'm gonna have you fill us in, okay? And, and I'm, I'm gonna step I, away. I'm gonna fill Eddie in on what we need to happen, okay, and okay. it can happen. What you can talk over the video. What I'm, we need to eventually. I hope our happen. viewership goes up. We're not jumping to him hitting Nasty Nelson yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> Sorry, I keep jumping the gun. That's where I want to get to, but. It is kind of weird getting out of the seat. I know what you're talking about. Right, Wouldn't Zane. it be? Right, Wouldn't Zane. it be? Zane. Is our viewership Zane. up yet? Zane, are you with me here? I want his, yes, Zane, right obviously here. my time is running short because... Um, we got to play tomorrow. No, the ability for short. people to focus. <laughs> <laughs> but Zane, Zane, here we are, okay? Here we are. Why did you get ejected from the tournament? Why? Why, Zane? Shh. Tell me why. No, no, like... I do not know. Okay, he doesn't know. Okay, from my understanding... Okay, um... From my understanding, you attempted to nasty Nelson somebody more than once. I, I don't know if that's true or not. No, um, the, and that day one, that okay. once. So the he, day before I hit the man. Did you give a warning on the first one? Yeah. Wait, no, there was the only one. one. Was the day before. There was only one, yeah. Oh, when you're no. talking about that one, you hold guys. Hold on, hold on. You we guys have, are very unfocused. We ha no, but this is the thing, Rob. You have, to, you, have to make, you have to make it a little bit more specific. Who was he playing with? Who were the opponents? And who was he trying? That's not relevant. I, I, I believe it is because he doesn't understand if it's mixed 
or if it's men's. It's not relevant. Because he tried to do the Nasty Nelson on men's doubles, no. right? And he succeeded. Yes. And, and Jeff Warnick, and my good buddy, successfully had done that previously, too. Exactly. And he tried to do it in mixed doubles, too. It's it's not relevant, and it's very unfortunate because we're going to... Um, we're gonna we're gonna bosh what what the true message of your injustice is, which is very unfortunate. These guys are taking selfies, man. There's no focus in radio. I'm, there's I'm no focus famous. in radio anymore there, these days. There's there's a, there's, there's a, just no focus. Look, in, 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 uh, look, you have. Okay, let's just paint the picture. Listen, let's okay, paint nope, the picture. Forget it. Forget it. Obviously, my sources I can't I can't yeah. gauge, so I will tell you folks at home the story that I know. Okay, Once upon okay. a time, Zayn Affleck. Oh, okay. Was, yeah, get closer to the mic and say okay louder. <laughs> okay. Once upon a time, Zane Affleck was playing uh, pickleball in it at the Atlanta uh, Open, and uh, he attempted to do a nasty Nelson, which is a perfectly legal play in pickleball. If you hit the person with the ball, it's your point because they needed to get out of the way. They need to let that ball hit the ground. Uh, if they if you miss that individual, it's their point because it's not a legal serve. It's out of the box. So there's a risk involved in it, which is fantastic. Okay. Uh, somewhere along the lines of when Zane was attempting his Nasty Nelson, the referee um, gave him a warning for unsportsmanlike conduct. Is that accurate? Is that accurate? You don't have to repeat. You, Michelle, you don't have to repeat what I, I just want to know. Michelle, it's very distracting when you repeat what I say. No, what uh, happened <laughs> yeah, here we go. was a technical warning for swearing. A technical warning was for swearing, swearing. was issued. When did yes. you swear? Uh, after a serve, serving fault was called for starting your serve before the score was called, which I thought was pretty borderline because it's a discretionary call, okay. right? Yeah, yeah. So I thought, no, there's no chance. And to myself, I said, bullshit. I and, understand. And yes, apparently, understand. and apparently, the ref heard it and they gave me a technical, me a technical warning fault. for it for talking to myself. Okay, so fantastic, <laughs> folks. Let the let the let the painting be revealed. There, there was never context. a warning. So this is great. This makes me feel better. There was never a warning given for the attempt of the Nasty Nelson. There was never a, a, a warning of sportsmanlike conduct involved with the Nasty Nelson. Is that correct? Yes. Perfect. Because there shouldn't have been. Good. Well, that makes me fan that makes me feel so much better. Okay, so what the real story is is um, Zane served his ball. You know, somewhere around the time when the score was called, the 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 referee called the technical foul because he said that you served before. Oh no, excuse me. The, he called he called a fault because because he said that you served yeah. before he finished calling the score. Well, there was a couple of them. Um, and I, then and then my and then, partner had a couple, and I yeah, just thought they were borderline. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's fine. It's just a ref's call. I mean, I'm. I, you can't argue with it. But. So, so he gave you a warrant. He gave he uh, awarded a point because he said he claimed that you started your serve before the uh, before he uh, before he finished got score, calling the score. Yep. And then uh, you said, "Ref, that's in bullshit." No, I didn't say. That. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, what, what you really said was, "I want a new ref." And then he said, well, you can have a new ref, but everybody has to agree with it. And you said, well, you know what, ref? That's a little bit of that BS that, you know, we all love knowing. That. And for, for, that call, for, for that swearing, is that, is that what they uh, kind of removed you from the game for? No, 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 no. So it doesn't matter. Tell us what, At this I mean, point, well, I, mean, I want to hear the inside. Wants okay. the story, right? I don't want it, I but mean, I guess you're going to give it to me anyway. Sheesh. Go for it. <laughs> Uh, okay, where do I start? Oh, we have the Nasty Nelson of... Should we start there first, though? No, Zane, yeah, go ahead and say what you got to say. <laughs> go say ahead. It, How much am I getting it. paid for this? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, no, so... Yeah, so the previous day uh, in this video here that's up, I had... Yeah, the, the nasty. It's just a way of getting a point, right? And sometimes, if you right. can rattle your opponent, more power to you. This game is ninety-nine percent mental. If yes. you can rattle someone, if and do whatever's legal, and if people want to call it unsportsmanlike, it's just part of the game. So honestly, a game's a game. You know, if it's off the court, I'm phys physically abusing you. No, this is great. That is completely this different, is right? And Zane, so, really, so. real quick though, I'm so, I apologize for yeah, interjecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what you just said, I I 100% wholeheartedly agree with. Yes. That being said, you were never penalized for attempting a Nasty Nelson in Atlanta. Is that correct? Penalized, meaning like uh, after I did this points. one right here? No, 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 no after no. this one, no. no. Nothing happened. Of any, of any Nasty Nelsons that you attempted in Atlanta, were you penalized for them? 
No. No. Which makes me feel great because that's what I thought was occurring, and, and that makes me feel great. So anybody at home, uh, the Nasty Nelson is a legal move, um, and it just... I understand that you know things happen and, and there might be justifications and whatnot in there, but the fact of the matter is that there was no penalizations at the Atlanta Open for attempting a nasty Nelson. Well, technically, I guess you would count it that as being penalized for doing it, since the penal for getting disqualified after doing it. So the penalty was getting disqualified. The penalty that you received had nothing to do with your attempt of nasty Nelsoning in an individual. Is that no, correct? No, that's not true. He's, he's saying that he didn't get a warning, but after his last nasty Nelson attempt is when he got disqualified. Yeah, is that I correct? I got disqualified for the nasty Nelson, so technically correct. that's Wait, the penalty. so you got disqualified for attempting a nasty correct. Nelson? That's exactly that's, what he's saying. That's right. Well, that's what I've been asking all factual questions. <laughs> I don't know how to explain uh, um, it. Can you guys explain to everyone what is a nasty Nelson. No, we've already done that. <laughs> Have we done that? Yes. Okay, so on the serve. Zane, Zane. Okay. so excuse me. You're now telling me that when you got disqualified, it was immediately after you attempted to nasty Nelson an individual? Yes. Correct. And what was, well, thank you, because now I'm back on the page that I was supposed to be on. Um, and what was their justification for that? I, a ref doesn't unsportsmanlike contact. What were they trying to know. say? The ref never gave me so, a so you didn't a get dis, you didn't get disqualified for the swearing. You got a technical foul, and then after the technical foul for your he said the word BS, which is a, is it not acceptable uh, terminology on the pickleball court. Everybody understands that. Um, so you got a technical foul for that, and then after that you attempted a nasty Nelson, and then they disqualified you. Yeah, that is incorrect. That is wrong then. Because as we stated earlier, there is nothing in the rule book that states it is illegal to attempt to hit the opponent with the serve. Nasty yeah. Nelson. I mean, we are really? now where we needed to arrive. Yeah. Nasty, Nel Thank Nasty Nelson equals a <laughs> illegal move. I mean, so, it's a high risk, high reward move. Yeah. And if you take that chance to try to catch your opponent off guard, uh, if you catch him off guard, it's good for you. If not, you, hey, you're... Sh S out of luck. So you even know? even if you're intentionally you doing it, 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 did not succeal. and it's not accidental. It's, it's, legal. it's still legal. It's a legal move. Yeah. Yes. I mean, legality, uh, frowned upon, smiled upon. Those are two different things. Sure. Does it say that you can or cannot do it in the rule book? Um, and we <laughs> clarified with all of our professional refs earlier. It does not state in, yeah. the, in the in the in the in the uh, in the rule book mm -hmm. that you can't attempt to uh, to do that. C no. Can I tell you though that I have her, I've, I have I have heard. Otherwise, and and, oh, great. and that the rule book does state that you cannot do that. Correct. Mm -hmm. I have heard that. Now, again, well, maybe we should just crack one open. Jesus. I I totally agree. I wish we had one in front of us because then we can totally do it. Because I have heard that. Now, I agree with you. I think that it should be, it like you, a, a ref can never gauge intention, right? It's it, it's it's not a black or white thing, or it, it it's it's a very great thing. Intention is not something you can judge. So, is yeah. it something that technically a referee should have the say in? No. So Agreed. I agree. Agreed. If you nasty Nelson someone, your point. Move on. Yeah. If you Done. miss, if you miss, you you receive the consequence. Yep. If you hit them, you receive the reward. Kyle <laughs> tried to do it on me today, and I got out of the way because I'm because I'm yeah. lightning fast. Like I can't like speed and reflexes. You got out of way of one of them. But if you would have hit me, I would have been like nice shot. Yeah, here's Good the shot. thing: is yeah. a lot of Good people, um, if if people are laid back and have a more, you know, just relaxed. He just yeah. has a more relaxed you, uh, personality, right? They're a little yeah. bit more lax with things. Then you can attempt nasty and they have no repercussions. But if someone chooses to complain, then that's a personal problem. And I think you can get personal, like, you can get personal, you know, no. biases out of so it. So here's where I that. need to le continue with that, okay? So it's not a personal thing. Uh, in terms of refereeing, it should be objective, okay? If it's the rule, then I apologize. Then you're right. They shouldn't yeah. be doing it. But uh, if yeah. it's not a rule, then you know what that means? That means that it's part of the game, okay? And here's where I'm going with this, folks, okay? Because um, in terms of positioning, okay, where's the most advantage? I'm going to jump right to it, guys, because who knows how much time we have, okay? <laughs> um, why should Zane be at fault for attempting that shot, okay? He shouldn't be. If it's within the rules, then he's allowed to be. Was there money on the line? Yes. Is this a cutthroat game at the highest level of competition? Yes. yes. And that's okay, because that's what brings us out to do this. All Sometimes fair. we look for that level of competition, okay? Anyway, that being said, okay, it's illegal 
if it's illegal, it's, it's a legal, right? If it's a legal thing yep. to do, yeah. then there's no way, shape, or form that he should be punished. Uh, penalized for attempting it, okay? No one should feel uncomfortable for him attempting it, okay? Why is he attempting it? And here's where the nitty-gritty comes down, comes to play, okay? So, Zane's serving, right? You know, in terms of normality, he would serve cross-court to the person who's way on the back line to receive that ball. Why is that person way on that back line? Because that's the most correct or advantageous spot for that person to play the bounce, receive the, ser receive the serve, and return it, okay? Why is the other person at the kitchen line? Because that is the most advantageous spot for them to be while the point continues out, yep. okay? So why shouldn't there be a risk in that person holding down the most advantageous spot for them to be? <laughs> That person on that kitchen line who, who, who takes the chance of being hit by the serve has the option of taking six or seven or eight steps back and giving zero opportunity for that person to hit them with the ball. So in terms of gamesmanship or what the rules are, that person should be ready and understand what the consequences are for them maintaining the most advantageous positioning when receiving serve. Yeah. So uh, let me just say this. The only person that should be penalized for attempting a nasty Nelson is the, the server if that person that they're attempting to hit with a legal ball steps out of the way. Yep. I mean, th that's just that. I mean, again, it's a legal play. Again, all's fair in love and war, but if we're playing by the rules... I'm not doing anything malicious. You know, the person who's not receiving the serve should probably be paying attention to the server just in case they're going to go for the nasty Nelson. And if you're sitting there looking at your partner or doing whatever, picking your nose, counting to 10, it doesn't matter. If you're not paying attention and you get hit with that ball, yeah. that's on you. You know, again, within legality, playing by the rule books because that's what we want to do. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to have to go with Rob on this one. You know, I, I feel like he was well within his rights because he didn't initially get warned for the Nasty Nelson, which is a legal play. It was for language, which is something totally different, and I get that. It is what it is. There's you know? nothing in the rulebook that states that it's mandatory for the non-receiving opponent to stand at the kitchen line. That's, that's their option. Um, mm -hmm. And they have the option to stay further back and, and have less of a risk of being hit by the serve. Um, and I think that that, op that that advantageous position is something that is earned or um, you know maintained as opposed to be to be automatically given. I you, love don't, that. you don't just get to be at the fr at the kitchen line. You have to be there, holding it down, watching the server, and ready to dodge their serve. Exactly. I have no problem with that. Yep. Hey, mm -hmm. safety, safety. You know, uh, safety is uh, obviously the number one and important part of this uh, game. For sure. But that's something that you take into your own hands, right? We all have the option to wear eye protection. That's our option. And I, you know, I love the fact that we have the option to not wear eye protection, right? That's us taking it into our own hands. Yeah. So that being said, you need to take the rest of it into your own hands, right? If you don't feel safe up there at that kitchen line, then you have the option to move back. It's, it's, you are the one who put you at that kitchen line, not, yeah. uh -huh. not the uh -huh. He hit it on the head. I mean, he absolutely hit it on the head. Seriously, you know, in racquetball, it's it's you have to wear eye pro. Yep. Eye pro. Uh, in pickleball, it's your decision. I mean, it's your discretion. We're all adults here, uh, you know, minus the juniors, you know, and then at that point, it, it defaults to their parents' decision. <laughs> but we're all over 18. We can choose to wear our eye pro. Like so, you said, yeah. that advantageous position puts us closer to that line. Right. If we feel scared, wear eye pro. If not, that? back it up. How about that? You know, straight Absolutely. up. You know, you don't just get up to get to, to stay up on that kitchen line and watch the butterflies flow by as while Zane Affleck <laughs> serves him, you know what I'm saying? No, no. He's gonna catch you. <laughs> put you in a little bit of a pickle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's why they Make call it a little it uncomfortable game. for you. I like it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta keep your opponent uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. I like that. So, you know, um, you know, t uh, Zane was penalized. I wasn't there. I wish I was, tell you what. Um, but you know, Zane was penalized for, you know, perhaps foul mouth, um, things of that nature, but in no way, shape, or form should he be penalized for attempting that play, mm -hmm. especially if the rule book, and I have not confirmed this yet, but especially if the rule book, if the rule book doesn't specify that it's an illegal play. Where's Don Stanley? I, I just want to hear it from Zane's point of view. <laughs> Boom. I, 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 I want to hear exactly yeah. what happened on your point of view. <laughs> but, Rob, I absolutely agree with everything that you said. Yeah, whatever it was. 
Um, Straight from the horse's mouth. I mean, it gets no realer than that. <laughs> I have a better <laughs> idea. Let's go ahead and reward Zane with what you know he deserves. <laughs> We're gonna play point. a clip. We're gonna play a nice uh, <laughs> slow mo clip. Here we go. Clip. Here we go. Uh, so this is from the first day, not the second day in question. Start over. Yeah, that's start over. This, yeah, this is yeah, from when. Oh, this they, is they, they zoom in. Zane, you did this yeah. twice. He he nasty Nelsoned Nelson. Yes. Um, How'd that feel? So, you know, like, you know, from like a family standpoint or for, from, from, from a progression of the game standpoint, do we agree with this, with this strategy or with this, with this? I mean, tactic? it was a point. 100%. And uh, to no, be no, honest. No, 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 no. I'm not looking for an answer. Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to say 100%. From your, from your cutthroat perspective? <laughs> yeah. No, like, I, I mean, mean, I got the Here's point. the thing. In this situation, when you do something like that, it, it mentally gets on someone's, in someone's head. And they play differently. And that, that's an advantage to winning a match. I think if I got hit with a ball, if I can't mentally handle that and I can't play normal, then I would say kudos to the person who hit me because it's a it's a right. way of winning. Right. And, and, yeah. and so, in this situation, kudos to you. I mean, I don't know yeah, if you won this I mean, match Honestly, or not, I won this match and I don't know, like, what would I, I mean, who knows, no, you know? Like, you know, how, you never know. Every single person sitting at this table, even Eddie. Not even kidding. Eddie. Well, well, I mean, yeah. look, look how frustrated he say, is. Every single person at this table it knows how glasses. mental this game is, I mean, knows it, how mental it is. So what yeah. I was really getting at really quick was, you know, you know, from a, an outsider's standpoint, from a family's standpoint, uh, from a from a progression of the game standpoint, is this a type of strategy that we want in our game, right? Um, and that question yeah. aside, doesn't matter in this situation because it's based on the rules. So whether you like it or not, the rules are the rules, and in yeah. no way, shape, or form should have Zane been pu penalized for attempting that play. Let's let's separate that. So I think yeah, at yeah, this point, I, I think please. at this point, like yeah. rule, rules established. Let's roll with the assumption that it's legal, right? Because to me, a referee can never judge intent. You can't do it. Yeah. It's impossible for a referee to ever judge it. So let's throw that out the window and say a nasty Nelson's a legal move. We all good there? Yeah. Yes. I agree. Let's I talk agree. about intent. Tuck comes on a strategy, right? And obviously that's what we're talking about here is is the mental harm, not the mental, the mental advantage that you're going to get over somebody. Yeah. So specific to that situation, was that the intention? I mean, look in other sports too, in baseball and other sports, you know, you back someone off the plate by throwing yep. inside. And yep. if it hits you, that's, that's you know, that's a risk you take. Yeah. And get a free base. Yeah. But... People get offended, and honestly, I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't know why people get offended. I mean, honestly, it's a strategy because if I brush him off the plate with an inside fastball mm -hmm. as a pitcher, he might back up off the plate a little bit. Now it opens me up to an outside corner, and I can strike him out easier. See, it's, 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 it, I see the strategy in a lot of things. If people choose to be offended, that's the thing. Is people just can't, you, you can't let things get to you, and if you let it get to you, I think it's on you. You, you know what I mean? And, and I think that's a valid point, right? Yeah. At the same point, I think you can understand that probably there are certain people out there who would consider that to be... Unsportsmanlike yeah. or whatever. But right. And, and, and I'm not saying that's my opinion. Yeah, you I'm can't judge intent sometimes, but... Right. Yeah, I mean, well, if you could if you could see that a pit, like two people had been arguing, if a pitcher and a batter had been arguing yeah. before, and then I'm throwing inside, I could see like that being <laughs> intenting to be kind of being a dick to me, well, right? We can, but, we can judge intent, right? Yeah, we can right. judge intent. Brushing somebody off of the uh, off of the plate to give yourself more shots, that's, I understand that. Uh, you know, and at the same time, ripping somebody's jaw off with a baseball, you know, we can we can see that also. Um, at the same time, you know... Ripping um, somebody's jaw off? You, well, hitting them in the... <laughs> hitting them in the Christ. Sorry, heading, oh, hitting somebody in... That this ball. waste went dark quick, Intentionally it? hitting somebody in the head with a baseball. Oh, that's, yeah. Sure. That's yeah, not, that's not... No, no. Yeah, that's... that's yeah. We can but, see still, but still, they get a free base. That's the risk you put yourself, Fuck, and you're getting paid... Base, the you're getting paid okay. millions. Yeah. So that, Zane, you're getting paid millions to put your life on the line, and so I don't think it's that big. I'm not going to I'm not gonna so Zane, have obviously, pity for someone who's making millions of dollars and they get hit in the head. Zane, thank you. Obviously, obviously, you, obviously, you represent the uh, you know the far side of, of of the game ship spectrum, which is great because this sport needs that, like all sports need that. It's competition. It's just a, it's just a drive exactly. of competition. Exactly, exactly. Nah. Um, what I like to maintain is the sanctity of the game, right? And just like baseball, no one wants to see a pitcher attempt to hit somebody in the head with a baseball. No, right? I don't know it. it some people like that. You sell Zane, tickets. Well, that like sells I said, tickets. Zane, listen. Call that sweet chin well, listen, music. like I said, that sells tickets. Please, though. if you'll allow me, 
like I said, you like I said, you represent the far side yeah. of this of the spectrum uh, no, of gamesmanship. I'm, absolutely. I, I'm pretty gray. I'm, I'm not, not really asking you. I'm not asking no, you. I'm pretty gray. Zane, I'm not asking no. you where you fall. It's situational. Zane, it's all situational. Zane, if you don't mind, I'm not asking you where you fall. <laughs> oh, you you land you. on the far side of gamesmanship, <laughs> which you is perfectly think. fine. No, okay? because I'm not going to do that every time. You know, oh, it's, it's a strategic move. Yeah, yeah. It Same. depends on how you're feeling. Gamesmanship, and... like I said. Same. Strategy. Gamesmanship. Well, so talk me through it, right? Strategy. You, you, wait, 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 wait. Go can ahead. I, can I say that Zane is, the, is one of the most controversial players of the game. He you is. Yeah. He is. But he doesn't take it like that. Okay. He doesn't. He doesn't. What's he controversial? Are you here to tell us how he takes hand? it? What's the controversy? He he is just he is just one of those players who just <laughs> Give me an I, example. I, All right, guys. I, I, nasty Nelson. Let me allow Nasty <laughs> Nelson. So please, legal please move, not right? one nasty Nelson. Please allow me to say a couple of quick things here. Okay, go ahead, Rob. Right. And so welcome sorry. back to the Rob Cassidy show. Rob everybody. Cassidy. Yes. So sorry. Rob, Rob Cassidy. <laughs> I love it though. I'm I so love sorry. it. I'm Good. so sorry. Good. Do it up, man. Don't be. Here what we go. It, what it comes down to is the sanctity of the game. Okay. The game itself, and that's what we as players, as family members, as pickleball family, want to maintain and, and preserve. Um, no one wants to see the game go in a malicious and unsafe direction. Correct. I would um, say that some people like that in other sports, though. How well, much do you like targeting in football? Zane, people love the hard hits. Zane, it's a penalty. I appreciate your interjection. In basketball, here. people love the elbows Everybody's to the gonna face. love. I'm just saying please, that please, makes please, drama. Please, please, I'm gonna please, have to make drama. It sells tickets. One. It sells tickets. I'm gonna please. have to side with you on this you, one. Please, if I could tickets. finish. If I could just and finish. it rattles a team. You're gonna and when I'm if asking if I. Football finish. player yeah, knows you're coming finish. after them. You might be a little yeah. bit more hesitant Listen, to if do you a certain play. Want it's to, a strategic, entertaining. Please, please Zane. Please Zane. From someone who considers the game stupid. So allow me. <laughs> no, no. Which he is you. did consider the game. Yeah, stupid. he told us that he thought the game was stupid. We're no. like seven years past. From that. someone who considers the game stupid and denies their love for it, allow me to speak, please. <laughs> Okay? Is that okay with you? Uh, continue. Is that okay please with you? Please continue. Please. Thank you. Some of us who love the game. Outwardly and openly, okay, we really um, we we demand respect for the sanctity of the game, okay. And in everything that we've talked about so far, I'm not saying that you've crossed a line of defiling that sanctity. However, however, in no way, shape, or form would I want this sport to go in the direction of violence to uh, promote. Uh, fansmanship or selling tickets. No. Okay? It's getting hit by a plastic please. ball. Please, but it's please, a difference please, between please, football please. and pickleball. It's getting it's hit by a plastic please. ball. Please, at this point, Zane, you forfeited your voice in that you think the game or thought that the game is stupid and no. refuse to I'm devout you. your love for it. I said the game Don't was stupid. Don't leave me hanging. I'm with you. Long ago. Oh, you're so, gonna, yes. you're gonna leave me hanging. <laughs> okay, all right. So, wait, 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 please, wait, wait. let me, please, 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 please. For, for the, the name of time, the, let Rob Cassidy finish. For the love of the game, can I just say a couple things? What happened if you really show? loved the game, you would have been in Atlanta. Ooh. Oh. You know what? <laughs> and it's funny. I think yeah. I met, Keeping you in line? <laughs> I yeah. think I met Rob Cassidy uh, at the previous Atlanta Open. This is if I'm not mistaken, over, over a cold one. <laughs> That's true. That's, That's true. very true. Where was I while you were in Atlanta? Where was I, Zane, while you were in Atlanta? Where was I? Work, not work, loving work. the game work, 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 Not loving work, the game. Work. You gotta I was, love uh, the game more than your work. I was teaching the game to people who wanted to get better at it in you a gotta, different state. You gotta play the game to so, really love it. So you're welcome. Man, you are just <laughs> forfeiting your opinion so oh hard. Oh my goodness Zane, right now. You've forfeited your opinion with me and uh, you're welcome for everything nice I've said about you so far. <laughs> but, hey, Rob, so I got a question for you. So, you know, we're sitting here talking about the you validity. sons of guns. No, we're not going to let you finish. I, appar so, I Apparently not. So, I'll have to finish on another day, folks. Uh, for the record, <laughs> it's all about the game, the sanctity of it, safety first, having fun, and getting better. That's what we're all about. So, so if they're not going to let me finish, no, no, I'm going to no. finish with that. Give me Love two. you, folks, so, and I'm going to swing it over to Jay. So my, my question <laughs> is, you know, we're talking about the nasty Nelson, you know, hitting a player, yeah. uh, whether it be intentional or unintentional, since we can't judge intention. Right. Um, but what about if... <laughs> But what about if Get you and here, your Joey. what about if your partner? You, hey, we have a first hand. Check me out. We have a first hand observer right here. What if your partner? Joey Farias joining the game. <laughs> Ferri. You Farias. Nobody will let you give me the start off, kids. Yeah. Okay. Can, can I finish? Yeah. Rob? yeah. Come on. I want to hear. So absolutely. 
We're talking about, you know, the you know the, the poor sportsmanship and a nasty Nelson or, you know, hitting somebody intentionally. You know, a lot of times in pickleball, there are body shots. Yeah. Uh, you know, and if somebody may duck into it, it may be a head shot, which is not intentional. You know, is the same malice behind it where I'm trying to physically hit your yeah. body, but I'm not trying to physically hurt you because I'm it's a legal play. Again, yeah. gray area with the nasty Nelson being kind of the <laughs> same thing. It's not against the rules, right? I mean, you understand well, what I'm saying? I do, and I think it comes down to the fact that it's a wiffle ball. <laughs> I, I, I I get it, right? I get it. it it's a wiffle ball. Yeah. Really hurt somebody if you go if you go for their body. Yeah. You know, it's really not going to cause any any extra harm off the court. Uh, but get you a point, and yep. it's it's a way to put somebody in an awkward position to try to defend themselves. Yeah. To if they happen to defend themselves and put the paddle on it, the ball's going to pop up. Yeah, it's a if, risk too. Yeah, exactly. but you know, it's also risk because exactly. they could also There's they could use that pace that to put it back for that shot. Yeah. I mean, look at Dave we Dave Weinbach's made a living off people <laughs> yeah. trying to go at him because the guy has one of the best backhand blocks in the in the game. Same as Curtis Campbell. If you go if you go anywhere close to his body, guess what? It's, it's night night for Boom. you. Right? You yeah. Got, you have to go a little bit away from him. But there's other players like myself and some other players that when you come at my exact body and I don't expect it, I get a, a little jam. Yeah, I get jammed. Yeah. I pop up a bunch more than I would any other part of my, myself. And it's an absolute play in the game. Yeah. So when you get hit, you get hit, yeah, right? It's part of the you game. Move on. It, doesn't, it doesn't really hurt. Yeah. It's not that bad. It might sting for a couple of seconds if it's Zane hitting you, who, who, ex who can hit the ball exceptionally. Hard sometimes. <laughs> him, and, him, and ben, him and Ben, and uh, yeah. I'm trying to think who else. Tyson can can put some heat on the ball a little bit, and yeah. Okay. Other than that, it's not that bad. My response to getting hit with the ball, people are like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just like, no, no, no. You're you're good. Yeah. I should have had my paddle up. Yep. That's my fault. Again, it's well, part of would, the game. Would everybody agree? You get hit, it's your fault. Yes. Yeah, and I'm butting in saying go, go for the it. better players will capitalize on the fact that someone's paddle is not up. And, and and take advantage of that. Yeah. And it's like, well, I'm so sorry that I noticed that your paddle, you were more backhand ready, so I went to your forehand shoulder, or you were forehand ready, so I went to your backhand shoulder, and you got tagged with the ball. There you That's go. not on me. That's there you on go. you. You weren't ready, and you're playing at a level where you should be ready and expect anything to come at oh, you. And if you're not ready, four, the better players are going to capitalize on you. you. Never been hit in the body. Right? Yeah. There you go. Say, say that again. Ralph Cassidy yeah. stays on the kitchen line, and my four years of playing, I've never seen him get hit in the body. I, ever. Interesting. I saw it today. Hands in the game. <laughs> Hendry you know did get you in the ready. body. The guy Hendry did you, get you in the, the body. The guy will let you do it during rec play to make it <laughs> seem. He, he's baiting you. He's, he's, yeah. playing, he, he's playing the, the smarter oh, he's game. He's on to me. Right? On, on a Thursday, <laughs> you can do it. Yeah. On a Thursday, you can do it all day. But on Friday, Saturday, Sunday... Take it to the bank. Nothing. You ain't taking it. You ain't Never in it. Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rob, you've been very well behaved over there. Oh, thank it's you. Like Matt Wright, for the last exactly. seven minutes. For like, like yeah, like I'm very, I'm very Thursday, impressed. Matt Wright. What, yeah. On a Thursday, Matt Wright gets the most balls. All right. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, he ain't touching a thing unless he ha unless he goes and takes it himself. Yeah. He wants that ball. He's got to go all the way <laughs> yeah. over and get that. All right. So on Thursday, all day, he's getting it. All right. Same oh, as Kyle. Kyle's one of the same same players. Those, those top level guys on on a different day, other than other than game day, they they're gonna see plenty of balls during rec play, during stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, different situations, but yeah, during during game day, it's a completely different story. Okay. All right. So never, it, never not behaved, Eddie. That's never, me. That's just uh, me. I'm never I, not. I, I I can't I can't say that that's true. Yeah, <laughs> I cannot say that that's true. I can't say it's true. Either. Uh, P P Pittsburgh? What? No, no, we're not gonna go there. Pittsburgh no. Gamble? Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Gamble yeah, Classic last year? No, yeah. no. The underground? Uh, no, you and the Golden Boy. Oh, Golden Boy left his paddles in the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Banned from Facebook. Sorry. We're done. <laughs> Please forgive me. Is there the two second FCC? Uh... <laughs> yeah, done. It's all good. It's all good. So, I honestly don't think, though, if you go at someone and tag them with the ball... Sorry, guys. Bye. That there's, there's See you, Adios, Farias. That there's any malicious intent behind it. It's like, yeah, my bad. Joey I'm Farias... Oh, my paddle oh, died. Sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> so no, sorry. I just Joey Farias signing him off, man. That's Tim Nelson's partner right now, yeah. man. That is some good stuff. Yeah. I mean, he... Uh, yes, I beat that team. They're an unorthodox... Well, beat that team. Oh. That was that video. Yeah. But honestly, 
cool. Tell us more about yourself. If you, somebody, if you honestly tag somebody with the ball because their paddle wasn't ready, yeah, problem. yeah, they're then that's a good shot. At, but they're not mad at you. They're like, yeah, I get that's it. A good shot. It was my bad. I, my paddle wasn't there. Some are. But good players know that that's their fault. Yeah, yep. for the most part, they they know they got caught with their paddle down. Exactly. They, do they get frustrated in the moment? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, they know they they got caught with their paddle down. And where are you from? I love your accent. Is this going to turn into a dating podcast? Thank you. Maybe. Okay. I'm from Gibraltar. Oh, Gibraltar. Can you spell that for me? <laughs> H-O-T-A-S-S. <laughs> oh baby! Oh wow! I'll, I'll see you after Man, the podcast. Is... I'll see you after the podcast. <laughs> my my podcast has officially been hijacked. I love it. You guys are awesome. So no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Don't don't go in. I nasty Nelson. This guy today. <laughs> the, yeah. Son of a gun. Right in the face. Right in the face. <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> oh, yeah. right in the nasty face. Nelson in the neck. <laughs> Took him out. It's <laughs> everywhere. In the neck. Yo, I just want to say shout out to Eddie and Webby, man. Hey, these boys, not only do, not only are they putting on a top notch podcast, we are coming live to you from the Parent Company, Parent Brewing Company uh, facility yeah. in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I mean, we've got people from all over. I mean, yep. New York, Virginia, California, California, California yep. Utah, Florida, Florida and Gibraltar, yeah. and Wisconsin. You know, we've got people from everywhere just coming together for one common cause. To hit and a plastic ball. To hit a plastic yep. ball over a net. Absolutely. And yeah. we love it. Yep. And yet people get mad when you get tagged with the ball. <laughs> hey, put your paddle up. Paddle yes. should have been up. Hey, Gizmo, thank, thank you for bringing it back to perspective, man. Hey, I, love on, it. I love it. Come on, baby. That's what it's all about. Right. Yep. My, my, one my wife made me do it. Yeah. Paddle up. There you go. Why are you pointing to Michelle as your wife? <laughs> because is, we're commentary wife and commentary husband. wife. Let me tell you, this duo here, Beast solid. Mode. I, don't, yeah. I don't know what, what happened, but it happened. It's, it's, have you it, met my sugar daddy, Rob? <laughs> I have, yeah. Well, we we try to do some fake commentary during the U.S. Open, yeah. 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 No, you go ahead. Here, speak <laughs> it to my microphone. Have you met my sugar daddy, Rob? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, Ooh. Michelle, sugar daddy. Michelle, I'm a little broke, right? I'm, you know, just call me, but just call me Bob. I'm balling on a budget, baby. Bob, Bob. Balling on a budget. <laughs> oh my gosh, you uh. you guys, this has been so much fun. Yeah. Talking talking about controversial pickleball. Oh, love it, mm -hmm. love it. Talking about like the community, yep. talking about Eddie and Webby. Oh, no, is there? Whose beer is it? Or is there not? It's yours, Dale. It's yours, man. Right. There's it's only yours controversy now. Controversy if your paddle's down. Oh, Lee says there's only controversy yeah. when your paddle is down. And my sugar daddy Rob tends to agree. Sugar daddy. I agree. Never not ready. You got to be never That's not good. ready. Never yeah, he's not sitting, he's ready. He's with sunglasses on looking like Stevie Wonder, so he's never ready for the ball. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Is it dark out or what? I, what hey, what time it's 5 o'clock it? somewhere. What's going on? How long have somewhere. they been doing this for? I don't know. You, you know what else? It, it has. We are going on three hours, and we oh, got to wow. shut this show oh, down here, guys. No. All right. Yeah, I know. I know this it's been so, a blast, but this is so I, much I fun, Eddie. Well, so listen. Here's the thing: we're we're gonna be broadcasting all weekend. We all have, weekend. All weekend. Long. No, we're gonna be doing matches. We're gonna be doing interviews. interviews. We're like all well, this stuff, right? I'd like. It, oh, the, I'm sorry. No, no, no. This is my. This is Eddie. It's the Rob show. Cassidy show. The Rob <laughs> Cassidy it? show featuring Eddie. Oh, I want to thank like Michelle you. Top Four Esquivel for being Shut here. Shut the hell oh, up. You also, my wife's name out of your mouth. Best dressed hall. Oh, my man. Oh, my man. Zane the train wreck Affleck. Woo! Zane uh, the train. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Boom, don't leave me hanging. Don't, don't leave him hanging. Yeah. Lee Whitwell's with us here. Yeah. Yes. And of course, you know, Eddie, the one man show, keeping it strong. You wait, know. wait, wait. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> Webby. And, Webby. and Webby. And Webby. And oh Webby. Webby's somewhere. holding here. up the cue cards behind us. This yeah. is all scripted. He's holding <laughs> up the cue cards, which we appreciate. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll have to get him over here to <laughs> shut down the show. And I may or may yeah. not be Rob Cassidy. It's been a really good time hanging Yo, out with so, you guys, so, I got to say. So you got Rob Cassidy. You got your man Gizmo Pickleball. Absolutely. You got Michelle Esquivel. What's up? You got Zane the Zane Affleck. Train Affleck. Wow. And you got your man Eddie and Webby and Lee Whitwell from G -G 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 Gibraltar. Sanctity what of the game. Up? Let me hear the accent all I one got more to time. Say. Let me hear the all accent I got to one say. more time. Sanctity of the game. That's all I got to say. Sanctity of the game. Let me, Sanctity of the game. Okay, you've said that six game. times, Rob. Game. Let me hear the accent one more time. Hashtag controversial pickable. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, love it. I love it. Straight from the it. horse's mouth. Eddie awesome. and Webby, 
thank you so much thank for so doing much, Eddie, what, yeah. what you do. So we love it. You demand. Please, you guys, you share, demand. comment, yeah. like, love, Boom. all of that, whatever it is. Everything. Please, 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 please contribute to what is going on because. If you want to know what's going on with the pros, with the game, with everything that's going on in pickleball, they know. They know. They know what's up. So please share, like, contribute. Yes. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. You're not do. asking a lot. It's not You're really not asking. asking. A lot. It's, it's just like one click. That's it. Like, share. One that's click. It. Michelle Lee. the Golden Queen Esquivel. How do we share? We share by sharing the button on Facebook. We click that one little button. Like we a like button or a share the button? The share button. And then everyone else gets to enjoy what you're enjoying. Yeah. Don't everyone. Keep, don't keep pickleball to yourself. Share it with your friends. Seriously. Absolutely. And and you know what? The knowledge, you know, everything you get you get the controversy from Zane you get <laughs> everything you get the input from the instructors and from the pro you get the, the pros customers from Michelle exactly yeah. and Lady Gibraltar over here she <laughs> is she is also in here you're not so, nada. hey listen what, what'd you say listen you just need to share you need to share you need to like you need to comment and so that everyone else gets to enjoy with you it's not just you, it's with everyone. We want to share this game with everyone. The world. Okay. The more you guys enjoy what we do and the more you share, the more the sport's going to grow and the more impact we're going to have. And Absolutely. This, is, this isn't the fastest growing sport in America for no in reason. Right, yeah. I mean, it's just Wait, not. wait, wait. Not in America now. Now we're talking about fastest growing sport in the freaking world. Oh. Okay, I, it's not go. even in the USA because we got Gibraltar over here, got Gibraltar, Argentina over yeah. here, we got Mexico, we got everyone over here. I'm, over, I'm just from Virginia. Domination. Yeah, it's cool. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is how we're going to grow our sport Ooh. and the sport that we love. We love it. So yeah. please like, share, comment, everything you, everything, everything. Thank you so much. Eddie and Webby. Yeah. It's Hashtag our pleasure. Support those who support you, yeah. man. That's I, what it's all about. Dude, I love Absolutely. that message, man. Yeah, That's seriously. You know, Absolutely. You got people awesome. that supporting you. You, it's just you know loyalty. You gotta yep. support them. You got people pushing you in your corner, telling you to keep going, keep going, don't stop. If they trying to chase their dream, support them. Why not? Don't you know they supported you this whole time? Yep. What, what you gonna do? Uh -huh. Just sit there when when they try and chase their dreams. Push them like they pushed you. Let's go. And, Let's the, do and it. the bottom bottom line is, Go. is that it's a single pickleball is the single most sport that is applicable to everybody from two years old there to ninety eight years old. Yep. You don't, don't care what color you are, or what race, none of it that. It doesn't yep. matter. Everybody can play and mm. everybody mm. can play at a mm. good level. There you go. Mm. Get out there, get a paddle, mm. come see us, come follow us, like, share, repeat. We go. got you, you got us, we've got you. Yo, Eddie and Webby, y'all the man. Y'all are the men. And you period. know what's going to happen right. this whole weekend. This we're going to be covering this. Just Let's blowing do it. it up. Blowing like, it honestly, up. Honestly, I, I think what we learned tonight is that Webby and I need to start off the show <laughs> and then just walk away. <laughs> just walk away. <laughs> no, Eddie and you know Webby. What the best hashtag of the weekend is going to be? What is that? Dinkers love bangers. Dinkers yeah. love bangers. What if I'm a dinker and a banger? Ooh, we got some sexy action. Well, I got somebody who could fit. Well, then you play both sides. <laughs> We got a prison next door. Ah. Oh, a prison? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? It's this conversation going. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to go to prison. But okay, I, this yeah. could go all night, but thank all right. you. Thank you again, Eddie it's, and Webby. It's my thank pleasure. you and thank good night. You. Thank, thank you guys for coming on. Seriously. No, You're awesome. You. We appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That that was awesome. Talk about a crazy, wild night. Uh, a lot of craziness there. And uh, as it was pretty obvious, the, the beer was flowing pretty good at Perrin that night, too. <laughs> Yeah, there were plenty of glasses of soups juice being poured around that table for most of the night, and uh, you could tell. But that's night. That night isn't over yet. That was just part two of our three-part series from the live stream at the 2019 Beer City Open pre-party at Perrin. Yes, we've already had two amazing parts just in that one night. We've got another part coming, and it's another great one. That's right. And so. This was episode number 44. So we want to thank all 44 of you that are out there. You know who you are. We adore you. We appreciate you. 
We love you to bits, and we want to kiss you on the lips. <laughs> and on that note, nice. um, Eddie. And until next time, this is Webby, not Eddie, is signing off. So yeah. <laughs>